Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to Side B. The Side B channel. The been a oldest, while. the oldest of the S rank podcasts. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And as you can probably guess, the fact that we um, we're all back together me means only one thing: it's E three again. Shit, it's that time already. It's time that time of year already. Yes. <laughs> It, it's kind of like waiting for the next comic cat to happen. Comic con? No, cat. comic cat. I know what he's talking. About. Okay, okay. I've, I've been out of the loop for a while, so. Oh no, no, yeah. no, no, no! no believe me, <laughs> <laughs> believe me. <laughs> it has nothing to do with you being out of the loop. <laughs> but, but I guess we're getting ahead of ourselves. Um. Oh yeah. I'm Professor Ice Pick. Now I'm psych rat. I'm some guy named Kirby Guy. Huh. But we, but you can call him KG. Pretty yeah. much. So Inafune, how's it been hanging? Huh. <laughs> well, you know, like, well, we're getting ready to release Bloodstain. Oh, wait, that was from a Konami thing. Never mind. Sometimes we get mixed up for whatever reason. Actually, now that you mention that, just imagine what kind of a world would it have been if Koji Igarashi had worked for Capcom and Keiji Inafune was over at uh, Konami? Hmm. You know, hmm. I think Iga still would have left, but I don't think Inafune would have. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I had... I have different names in my head. <laughs> <laughs> you could probably figure that part out, but yeah. um, um, you know, when I think about it, you you said um, Inafune would have stayed, right? I, I think Inafune would have stayed at Konami, but I think that Igarashi still would have left Capcom. I don't know. They probably yell at him for wasting money or something, and then they get rid of him ceremoniously. Well, unceremoniously. Well, no. It seems like Konami um, only really goes after people with like you know artistic vision. That was not oh. meant. That was not meant to be the dig <laughs> that it ended up. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! I've gone too far. <laughs> I, I am too. I I suck at I suck at not sounding like a complete asshole. Let me just let me just be honest. Oh well, I mean, it was probably deserved either way. We should really just do these more often, even if there isn't anything to talk about. Oh, yeah, it's like we're just doing. What are we doing? I don't know. We're just doing our usual shoot to shit. Uh, pretty much, yeah. I mean, I work uh, just from nine to one. And uh, I'm pretty for I'm pretty free the rest of the day. Oh, okay. Well, cool then. Yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, I, we did a we did we did a disc one for uh, Devil May Cry Five when that came. I out. saw. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'm a big boy. <laughs> I did he it all did. with that he did it by himself. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've actually took I, I've actually taken over the whole disc one thing just to free up psych. You know. You know, yeah, I mean, I have a lot of stuff backed up. Um, oh, yeah, not lot. to mention the fact that, like, you know, remember when we were doing, like, three fucking podcasts for E3, and then we would be doing, <laughs> oh, like, shit, three no. oh, fucking God. topics for each of those three podcasts? No, it was yeah. worse than that, dude. It was worse than that. It, it, we did we did different podcasts. We did, um, shit, we, <laughs> fuck, we did, like, three podcasts yeah, for each of our podcasts. Yeah, we did right? Like, Sykes' computer was melting, and my vocal cords were, like, broken. Like, we did we did three different podcasts for three different subjects. Exactly. And each of them, fuck, dude, we, it was just awful. And then on top of that, we had the predictions for all three of those, too. Yeah, it was just silly, uh, silly idea. Yes, yes that, that's why this year, I say we just do predictions and then results. Yeah, I... I mean, we can go on for hours about the re I guess. Yeah, that's no, true. No. Results could go on for a long time, but, um... I mean, that's fine. That's a podcast. I mean, yeah, that is that is a pod... Like, podcasts are usually, like, two hours anyway, right? 
Depends on which ones you're listening to. Gaming ones, yeah, it's part of why I don't listen to them. That's Depends on how much uh, dick uh, KG sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the other problem on why I don't listen to gaming podcasts usually is because half of it is spent on news you probably already know about. Holy shit, yeah, man. Or, or uh, like the most obvious takes on said news. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, yeah. when they're shooting the shit, it's fine. Well, yeah, no, like, when they're shooting the shit, it's great. Or, like, when they're talking about, like, shit. That's one thing that I feel like more people should do. We should have book clubs, but for, like, old video games. Right. Yeah. Like, it, it's weird to me. Like, someone could go, hey, how's the kids or something? And I find that more interesting to hear them talk about that than it is for gaming news we've already heard about. It, it, like, I'm not sure if it's because I've gotten old, but then again, I wasn't at a point where I was an uncle, and I got bored of that. Oh, no, I get I get what you're saying. I, I think another part is that, like, I mean, you already know the news, so it doesn't really mm-hmm. matter. There's nothing you can add to that. Activision Listen, yeah, is releasing yeah. a new Call of Duty game. Mm-hmm. What possible I mean, take could you have on that to make that interesting? Right, like, I, I risk mentioning this, but, like, you know, we ha- di- like, there's podcasts about different things and whatnot. Right. What the world? Huh. I don't know what that was. And so, like, if news kept happening, like, like if you're a daily podcast because something happens every day, if it keeps hap- if something keeps happening by the hour... By the time you put out your podcast, it's already old news and whatnot. And so it's just like, what do you even do? Well, yeah, I mean, that that's point? that's the problem with the idea of trying to be current. I mean, we're just literally doing E3 predictions podcasts. I mean, it's possible that these could be up, like, by Sunday. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to get the disc ones out. Those are going to – that one we're going to try to shoot to do on Thursday. So I've got, like – Mm-hmm. <laughs> Time is on my ass on that one to get that out before Sunday. Right. I'm hoping to get it out Friday, but Saturday at the latest. Hey, right. just give me the audio file. I can do it. Oh no 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 no! I'm I'm willing to. Well, I mean, if if you're willing. I mean the side B one. This the side oh. B. Oh no no no! I was going to give you uh, side B regardless. Okay. I was going to hand um, it off also... to you after I was done with this. <laughs> also, um. <laughs> Just give me uh, the list of music files. Uh, what? Oh, music files? I mean, if you have this, if you have any. Yeah, I could, I could give, I could scrounge up some music files. I mean, yeah. if, if it's by itself, I honestly think it's a lot better. But that's just me. Oh no, I agree. Oh, I, yeah. I usually put in music files, and I mean, I've been keeping that up when I've been doing the disc ones, actually. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, yeah. I'm, so. I'm, well, anyways, uh, back to back to like uh, talking yeah, about gaming. Yeah. News. That's why I don't. I only, you know, the only gaming channel I'm subscribed to is Donkey, and uh, other gaming channels like Gaming News, like Easy Allies, Jim Sterling, blah, blah, blah. Right. I don't, I'm not sub to them because, you know, they not, they only, uh, they they talk about the news, but they also speak of their opinions, and while that's all right and good, at the end of the day, your, the only opinion that's going to matter to you is your, yours. That's true, but I mean, I find editorials more interesting than just straight-up news talk anyway, because... Sure, yeah, yeah. No, I know. If I want news, I'm going to check my Twitter feed for Gamatsu or whatever, and that's fine. Then I'm I'm in and out in a minute, basically. Right. I don't have have any uh, gaming news subscriptions. Most of mine's are people who uh, just play games or whatever, and every now and again, I might check check in and see what they're playing. Shit, I don't even and, watch Let's Plays. But, like... I record Let's Plays now. I've become the very thing I hate. No, I mean, if you're a good Let's Player, oh, so you get more power to you. <laughs> yes, I am the Game Grumps. You, you are Ego. <laughs> I, 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 no! Hey, I'm Grump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, I, I, I'm trying to branch out of uh, the game and stuff. Partly because of the whole news thing, like, you know, like my mother got me into Good Mythical Morning, and then I found out recently that they crossed over with King Grump, so I'm like, oh, 
Um, I guess there was a reason why she introduced me to them. Just yeah. when I thought I was out, they dragged me back in. <laughs> it's like a goddamn Ouroboros. <laughs> like, other ones, is like, dangerously funny for the starting stuff and any other thing. Gaijin Hunter from Monster Hunter. Right. Nintendo is probably the only one I follow for gaming news, but that's for, like, the directs and stuff. I mean, I subscribe to, like, companies that I like, but that's mainly just so, like, I've got quick access to trailers, honestly. Right. I'm, I'm, oh, like, well, the other like gaming trailers. channels I'm, I'm sub to is Max. But that's only for, like, uh, you know, video games that he likes to play. Well, yeah, I mean, that's, actions, yeah, I mean, that's fun to watch. I, I, like, I like watching Max when he's having fun. Mm -hmm. When he's not having fun, I don't really enjoy it as much, but... Mm -hmm. You know, I each just their have own, a... really. Yeah. I just have a bunch of other ones, some of them from uh, the Something Awful forums from their heyday of the LPs. Yeah. But that's more of a vintage subscription. That, I mean, I just um, never unsubscribe for most things. You really have to. You really have to piss me off to get me to unsubscribe. Basically, pretty much. You really have to. You really have to fuck up. Yeah. In any case. Um, so, should we uh, get to the topic at hand? Yeah. E3 no. 2019. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the schedule you gave us, yes. and I still can't get over the fact that Sony's not here. I, I love that Sony isn't the... It's like... It's one less thing for me to worry about, for sure. Oh, no, it's even better is that EA just decided to give up on their conference. That, too. Like, I, I find the EA one more of a benefit, but... Uh, Wait. So I, don't really, I don't really care... If, Sony's not there. I mean, but it it just makes it feel weird, regardless. No, I agree that it's weird, but you have to admit Sony really shit the bed last year anyway. So it's they've got nothing. Well, of course not. And you know, I think they could, like they can actually get away with it with the third party support they have. But at the same time, like for me, like I I'm only primarily interested in judgment and. Even I'm scared of if if I'm going to put time towards it. Like, partly because Super Mario Maker comes out the week after. So I fear I might rush it. But it's like, even that Grand Blue beta that happened, I ultimately didn't put time into it. Since it didn't tell me what time zone it was based on. <laughs> and, um, like... The last day was Saturday. It was only open for two days and not the whole weekend. That's weird. And the pool opened on, on the last day. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm just going to the pool. We well, went there twice. And I have sunburn. <laughs> <laughs> and I made the mistake of washing my face with a rag. Oh. Yes. Yeah. I didn't even know that... Uh... The Sony and the EA weren't going to be there at all. Oh, no, uh, well, EA's been doing their own conference on Saturdays anyway, you know, the, the whole oh, EA yeah. play thing. And they're still doing that. It's just that they're not having the press conference. They're, they're going to do an all-day live stream in which I'm like, yeah, fuck oh, that shit. No, fuck that. I, I hate that shit. I never understand the point of doing an all-day live stream. That shit is... Like, I understand that we... Our generation, millennials and the generation after us, I don't know, Gen Z, whatever you want to call it. They need a better name than that, but we'll just call them Gen Z for now because... We'll probably know. come off with one sooner or later. I'm going to call them the halflings. How does that sound? They're the halflings. Sure. No, the fighting mongooses. Yeah, <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> the fighting mongooses. That's their generation name. It's like, I know that we've got really low attention spans... But that's mm. what makes the press conference so perfect. You cram everything into our faces immediately. Yeah. Instead yeah, of just like, di drip feeding. No one is going to want to watch an all day, an all day, yeah. pre an all day press conference, basically. Like no. I would rather have an all day thing after the fact. Yeah, but I mean that's. But like, who does that? The Nintendo. Nintendo with the treehouse. Tree yeah. Yeah. I will say, looking at this schedule, I, I'm totally not going to be used to uh, watching Nintendo's at 11 a.m. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> Sexual I mean, time is a bitch, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, it's like it was bad already back where I used to live because that would it would happen right when I start working. Right. But it's not like I didn't sneak any sneak a glance or whatever. Um, but at least I have the advantage of working from home, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's true. Just take your lunch break early. I don't need to do that. Well, no, I'm just saying just that like, it, like worst case scenario, just say that you're taking your lunch break early. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did they say how long their press conference was going to be? If they did, I haven't, I haven't seen the info on that. But okay. uh, let's see. Oh. Looking at this, 5 a.m. UTC. Okay, where's the UTC? Why are why is they have a schedule with a whole bunch of fucking different time zones, but they don't have UST. Okay, London is seventeen. Okay, I've got no idea how. I would imagine what that at most it would have to be like oh, an hour or half an hour or something. Yeah, I, I figure that. I mean, they usually start up Treehouse like right after the direct, don't they? Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. Like either right after or maybe like a small gap in between. Right, like yeah. like like you know they take a break and you know just to set everything up. Which. Mhm. Mm I probably like I I might be able to watch the tree house. I probably won't though. Unless... I usually don't bother with the tree house unless someone like yells at me saying, "Oh shit, something new got announced." Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I usually wait for the news for that part. Like, that's true. I think. Like, I get the feeling they might try to cover Pokemon Sh Sword and Shield, but even then, I didn't really care for when they covered Sun and Moon. That was actually pretty boring, because it's, you know... It, because it, they have it, to it do was, early was... game stuff. There's not really yeah. much you can... I mean, I know that my, <laughs> my history with the Pokemon franchise has been storied and very negative, but it's kind of impossible. It's like Animal Crossing. You can't really showcase it. Yeah. Like it's not fun yeah. to watch. It's not fun yeah. to watch Pokemon, and it's not fun to watch Animal Crossing. I'm pretty sure it's, they're going to showcase uh, Mario Maker. Well, yeah, that, that'll yeah. be coming out like a couple weeks after that. So yeah. I mean, I kind of find it weird that, uh, like, I think someone mentioned, you know, one possibility that they could have done was because it relied on user creation. They could have given it to like some influencers to make some levels and whatnot, right. but maybe. Uh, it's due to the fact that we have Kaizo levels or even just uh, Ross Donovan levels that make people cry. It could <laughs> also just grunts. be due to the fact that most influencers are like typically, uh, aren't most like YouTube and Twitch influencers associated with multiplayer games anyway, so expecting I mean... <laughs> them to put together a competent Mario stage yeah. would be kind of out of their wheelhouse. Yeah, plus they could probably just recycle Super Mario Maker footage anyway. Right. Um, so let's see. Looking at our schedule, um, our first few start this week. Yep. Um, we have, I don't know the exact order, Okay. No, but I, can, I believe tomorrow, I can... tomorrow was the Google Stadia one. Yes, that's right. And Wednesday I don't was, fuck oh, about it. Yeah, po Pokemon was Wednesday. I actually messed up my days. I thought that was tomorrow. Um, um, basically, I mean, it's almost gonna... in in less than an hour. It'll be tomorrow. Yeah, <sighs> they'll almost they'll talk about Pokemon stuff. We'll see what it is. Um, it probably won't be that Armored Evolution bullshit people keep bringing up. Um, Change into digital champions <laughs> to save okay, the digital seems... world. Oh, it seems it's... we have some uh, big news, breaking news right now. Yeah. Um, oh, is it interesting? Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. IHOP introduces a new ba big pancake burger. Oh, <laughs> Big pancake burger. I fucking it, hate by it. By the way, Go ahead. It, 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 it's, not a, it's not a pancake. <laughs> no, it's... It's uh, putting pancakes inside the burgers. What are you talking about? What? It looks like some regular ass burger. Yeah. yeah now now I'm looking at this. Hold on. Wait, a hold up. Let me look at this. 
<laughs> IHOP renames its burgers pancakes as part of latest merch. <laughs> Their yeah. burgers are nasty, though. Their burgers are I... fucking disgusting. Are Have they? you ever had an IHOP burger? Yeah, it was all right. I only had it once, like, ten years ago, though. Like, <laughs> here, like, like, okay. I haven't here's, been to IHOP in a while. Here's my policy on IHOP and Denny's. If you want breakfast food, go to IHOP. If you yeah, want okay. anything else, just go to fucking Denny's. You know, I feel like breakfast is where it's at. I have the most issues <laughs> with with coming to deal with the fact that I was born in America. Because <laughs> I'm just like, I don't really like a lot of American breakfasts, and it's mainly because of the eggs. I don't like eggs. Like, I see other ones, like how Japan has rice and miso soup or whatever. And I'm like, you know, that's pretty good. I'd actually do that. And how but Great Britain don't... has beans and toast. Yeah, <laughs> but, like, because so much relies on eggs here, like, I got to the point where I'm like, if breakfast wasn't made for me, I'm just not going to eat it. Because, like, it, it feels pathetic when breakfast is made. You see everyone having eggs and bacon and probably and something else. And in my case, like, I don't get a, re I don't get like a replacement for the eggs. It's just the bacon. I don't like sausages. I mean, I like breakfast food. I just don't really like eating early in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I really don't have uh, like, I'm not really against breakfast food or eating in the morning. I, I get, but I do love breakfast food anytime though. The breakfast food anytime, anywhere is fine. That is a that that is like a property of I think our generation and Gen X really likes eating breakfast for dinner for some reason, and I don't know where that came from. Maybe it's just because I don't know what's I I, I don't know the the previous generations were like are, are just uh they they like order so they think you know breakfast is for the breakfast food is for breakfast time only and there's and there's uh it's just an unwritten law oh, rule eating and breakfast then, food at night is punk as fuck yo yeah and yeah. it's you know like we, we thought well, what was, what's the what is so controversial about eating breakfast food at night or, or in the afternoon i, don't know. I mean the only that, thing that's, like that's the that's where it stems from you know the, the only yeah. thing that i really remember about that when i was a kid was like the sort of like the exact opposite i remember being up for breakfast, and I'd, you know, and they'd be like, okay, have some orange juice, and I'm like, I fucking hate orange Well, I, I obviously didn't say I fucking hate orange juice out loud to my family <laughs> when I was, like, seven years old, but I was, like, basically, right. like, I hate orange juice, and it's like, can I have some soda? And like, you can't have soda before noon! And I'm like, well, why not? My, my dad's <laughs> my dad, my dad's still the same way, like, uh, uh, he instilled the fat. He instilled the idea that eating soda, drinking soda, eating soda. before noon, it, <laughs> eating soda before noon, is uh, bad. I'm like, well, uh, what about eating well, baking know. soda before noon? Or well, bacon you're, you're, soda? Well, you're fucked. Oh, baking soda. Have you tried that? That's fucking disgusting. I bet it is. Yeah, I'm sure. It's probably just flavorings, you know, like how there's also smoked flavoring, but not actual smoked. Right, liquid I mean, I, smoke and yeah, like uh, yeah. Anyways, so. <laughs> so so should we actually get on topic? No, I, yeah. I, you okay. know what I want can, back can though. Hold on. What, what do you I want? Well, no, no. Well, um, I want Pepsi Blue back. I never actually tried that. I That's think good. It was all right. It's all right. It's 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 so good. It's like, good. I try it again. Um, I miss but, lemon lime um, slice. I, I got, oh, yeah. like, three things of Coke vanilla with orange in it. Oh, oh yeah, I've been Coke trying that. That vanilla. is actually good. Coke yeah. vanilla orange is the best soda I ever made. It is really good. It's cre it's a creamsicle with a Coke in it. It's great. Yeah, yeah. dude. The worst great. part is I think I actually got tired of it because at one point it got disgusting. And I was like, you know, maybe I should st stop drinking soda. But then I put ice in it after I put another can in the fridge. I'm like, okay, I love it again. <laughs> But, it's so good. It's so yeah. good. It, 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 I agree. I agree with that. But like, there was this drink that uh, I don't remember where my mom got it from, but it was like a really light soda, and it had like blue blackberry mint in it. Um, and I don't remember what the soda was called, but I liked it. It was 
like it was very light and sweet but it, not to the point where it's like oh I might as well be drinking seltzer water you know I forget oh. who actually did this but I remember having I think it was Canada Dry they had ginger ale and lemonade together and Ooh. it was actually really good I think that they, they had it as a limited time when I tried it but I think they brought it yeah. back recently so really? keep your eyes out for it I should do that Let's lemonade and ginger ale. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna look that up real quick. Lemonade ginger ale, not Gucci Mane. I want to say it was uh, Canada Dry that was doing this. Okay, I see. I found something. Canada Dry. It's 169 at Target. I should go to Target, or better yet, if I knew of this, I would have ordered some from Action Long Wood. That's 17.99. I mean, and yeah, I, I just get like eighteen ninety five for a pack of twelve. <laughs> Is it weird that I like cherry Pepsi more than cherry Coke, but I like Coke more than Pepsi? Mm, not really. It probably not has really. to do with how the flavors react to uh, each of the individual sodas. Yeah, yeah. Like, I actually like Coke more than Pepsi. I also general. like Coke more than. I I, yeah. I think that more carbonation is better than more sugar. Yeah. No. I mean, I like uh, cherry Pepsi more than cherry Coke, but if it's you know, Coke versus Pepsi. It's Coke all the way, you oh, know? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah. feel that way about, like, Sprite and whatever the fuck. Uh, what does... What's the Pepsi Lemon Lime drink now? Is it Sierra Mist still, or did they change it to something else? <laughs> Pretty sure it's Sierra Mist. Yeah, that's what yeah. I figured. It sucks, dude. It mm. sucks. It's the worst one. It's it like tastes like them, cucumbers. It, it's adding oh. sugar to carbonated water. That's it. Yeah, it, it does not really have much of a lemon limey bite to it. Yeah. It's seven For up some reason, you reminded me of something, and I'm already upset that I forgot what it was. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, man. Sierra Mist? Is something to do with Sierra Mist? No. What, was, what else were you saying? Uh, I said cucumbers. Oh, yeah. Cucumber drinks. I actually don't mind those. Actually, cucumber water is pretty good. I, I yeah, just, I just don't want to have cucumber soda, I guess. There was a cucumber lime rock star at one point, and I tried oh, right. that, and that was really good, and I got disappointed that I could never find it again. You know what else is good? Well, grapefruit, not... grapefruit soda. Like grapefruit squirt. soda is good. Yeah, squirt is good. I, I love squirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Refreshing as fuck. Yeah. I'm hoping I can find what I was looking for through my history. Alright, um... So Microsoft. Yeah, Microsoft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you fucking beat me to it. But yes, uh, the first show, the, the first press conference on Sunday is going to be Microsoft. Which they, well, they are actually like see. hyping up console announcements and PC announcements, so I'm excited. Yeah. Mainly for the yeah. latter. Yeah. <laughs> Was it SIP? Uh, I don't know. I mean, not video game related, not exactly like the video games they're going to release. But I'm excited for what they're doing with uh, Nintendo. Oh yeah, the the partnership with Nintendo. I'm 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 also excited for their partnership with Steam. Yeah, it, I don't know what they're. Uh, I mean, it's going to be like something like Stadia, except you know, actually more better. Oh wait, are more you talking better. about the Sony <laughs> one? No, the the Microsoft Nintendo. Really, I didn't. I thought that my I thought the Microsoft Nintendo thing was just Microsoft putting their games on Nintendo and putting Xbox Live on there. I thought that it was Sony that was teaming up with them to make the streaming service. Is that confirmed? I, I think so. I think I believe. I yeah, thought. I, yeah. I mean. Yeah. I I thought the well. I thought it was a Switch streaming. Xbox games. Oh, no, that's speculation right there. That's what they think that the Xbox Live on Switch is going to be. They think that they're going to... They are bringing the Xbox Game Pass to PC, but mm. they also think that they might be bringing it to Switch, too. Okay, I mean, well, if that's the case, more internet connectivity is, uh, is a good thing. Oh, yeah, you no, know, I, I love... I remember someone mentioning something that, like, it's one of those stupid things that ends up blowing your mind. Huh. Microsoft is the new Google, and Google's the new Microsoft. It, I actually saw that earlier. You saw that too? About, that shit yeah, blew I, my mind. I, I saw it in a thread about how uh, how Google's moving forward with uh, blocking, <laughs> ad blocking to enterprises. Oh enterprises. shit, yeah, fuck. 
Uh huh. Uh -huh, it, it, it's yeah. like, well, I didn't think I, I, I should consider Firefox again. Firefox is way better. Google yeah, is it's down. way better now. Um, well, well, I mean, didn't we using Firefox for years? Didn't but, Firefox okay, like accidentally like disable all of their um, all their um, what's the word I'm looking for? Extensions. Yeah. You know, and they did they end up fixing that? Yeah, it was a quick fix. Okay, good. Yeah. I don't even use Adblock. I use uh, Ublock Origin. Oh yeah, that's what I use. Yeah, Adblock is uh, it's gotten very, very uh, outdated. Uh, yeah, well, no, not only that, but they started like offering to let people pay them to basically, you know, get past what? the Adblock. You didn't uh, hear about it. That's why everyone like dumped it because the, of that. yeah, I, yeah. I've been going on a major uh, like um not. Not major sites, but like uh, sites that don't read that uh, are riddled with ads yeah. and before. And I've been noticing that there's more ads, more ads coming in, and I'm like, what the fuck is going oh, on? I have totally, ad block. Totally. And, like, yeah. um, it, it's worse because going through the that Google article, it's like, oh, you know, it, it'll block up to 30,000 instances. And so I decided to look at my ad block plus of 30 that where they said it's going to block up to 30,000 instances number of items blocked on my end 1,746,427 <laughs> in total Jeez. Jesus Christ now I mean that I block 30, origin 30,000 is nothing you block origin is great yeah, you block origin is amazing yeah, yeah. it's I might have to do it on a different browser, though, since the one I'm using is based on Chrome. I'm actually upset that Microsoft just folded on the Edge thing. Going oh, yeah, no. Web. The thing is, is that Edge was like, I wouldn't call it my secondary browser, but I did use it a lot, and I liked that it was different from um, from the other browsers. Well, speaking of folding, I did you hear that Apple is folding iTunes this July? Really? Yeah. Well, yeah. What are they replacing it with? They're they're replacing with three different apps that you can use. Oh, I God. mean, are they really? Yeah. Are any of them what? actually going to work on Windows computers? I have no idea. They're, for now, I just I heard that it's they're just folding it from uh, Mac OS. Oh, so I, I, I still get annoyed at the fact that my family is like, "Why don't you get an iPhone?" and blah blah blah, because iTunes was shit on my computer. iTunes I know they were replacing it. iTunes is literally like, malware on Windows. <laughs> Oh yeah, much. for real. I I suffered that uh, debacle years ago. Oh, I ago. never I actually like, installed it on my computer, but my sister has an iPhone, and I've seen it on hers, and it's like, yeesh. Yeah, I had to scan, and I'm like, what the heck? It's Apple causing the problems here. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like I, I, the folder situation also seems really weird to me. Um, like I was trying to get photos or something off of um my aunt's phone and I just couldn't figure out how to do it. It like it, it seems structured in a way where it's like it almost didn't want me to. Like you, you would think it was set up like in case someone was hiding porn. But that's based on Apple's <coughs> own setup. And I'm like, really? Like I can find things easy on my phone. Um very few things are hidden underneath um root well not root folders but like folders within root folders and of course i also have an sd card as well which i can structure to my own liking so there's that like i like my customization of my android that i feel fear that i would lack with an iphone it's exactly why i don't go to that that and the pricing yeah, no, I understand. I mean, uh, I don't use iTunes. I mean, I seldom use it, I, only when I need to, and um, I don't use it for music or a any of the other stuff. Like, I, I have Spotify. I have Spotify, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, yeah. Stadia's on Thursday. Never mind. Well, Not tomorrow. Well, either, either way, I mean, it, it's trying I, to get it's trying to get in the way of me playing Slay the St Spire. That those fuckers. Stadia. Personally, to me, it's very interesting, but unless it has content, it would be uh, more interesting if it wasn't by Google. It would be more interesting. <laughs> the if people it didn't who require like a fucking shit. one mega, 
<laughs> one megabyte. <laughs> I one, mean, one MVPS internet connection at all times uh, to work right. Yeah, it, it, I mean, considering the fact that even though they'll have like a lot of server farms out there uh, that they'll build, um, you still have to have a very fast internet connection to. Yes. You know, I don't. Spring. I do not believe them about uh, that that um, minimum requirement at all. Yeah, because that's it, essentially what I'm on now, compared to how I was back at, at the old place where my internet was flat out superior. I have gigabit internet, and even still, like, I, yeah, like I, I tried doing PlayStation Now with the trial, and even that told me to fuck off. Yeah, so it's like, you know, like, why would I try it now? Mm-hmm. Uh, um. Like, like it's, I, if it works, uh, kudos. I don't know. I, I mean, I mean, I hope it doesn't work. But if there's anything that's that I've learned in the past few years: never underestimate just how much the consumer base is willing to fuck itself over. Listen, yeah. listen, listen. Because if it works, prop- that yeah. means other uh, competitors will work too. That's what I'm getting at. Well, I mean, there's already a streaming on consoles it's just i mean it doesn't least for the time being with like playstation and xbox you're still keeping all three avenues because okay. let's face it your your um consumer base as it stands um still buys games i mean i just another thing that people really bring up is um yeah, the fact that this feels like an attempt to sort of hijack. Well, I was going to say erode the concept of ownership of video games, which that that too. Yeah, I mean that that is kind of scary. I have to admit. Yeah, I'll tell totally. that that part I did not consider because the other parts were so enticing to me. Like you know, if it works, it streams well. There's no lag. Of course, there's going to be lag, but it, it, eventually, there's no lag with slower connection speeds. That stuff is really enticing to me, but I didn't consider the fact of you know the elimination of ownership. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Think I of think that. my other issue is like I hate it when the game industry tried to do this, and I hate it when someone else is trying to do this. But it's equating games to other mediums, like you know, gaming was having its growing pains, trying to emulate the movie industry and whatnot not recognizing its own capabilities or um it, what makes it different from the other things and it's like oh maybe we can try doing this and that because you know other people took up digital music music um streaming music and movies but you know, there's a world of difference between that. Sure, and, sure, I mean... And it's like trying to capitalize on trying to make it like everything else. And, you know, those things are really passive. And not only are they, they passive, they have less of a footnote. Well, they ha- they're they only a footnote um, compared to gaming. Like, you can even go on 4G and like watch a video if you wanted. Um, yeah, and I can do that. I don't trust my games to do that. Right. Um. Well, um, all other avenues of media, all other yeah, um, like movies and music. It, it, for for move for music, it was it was uh, the phonogram, then the record, then the cassettes, then uh, CD players. Then it was uh, MP3s, downloading music. I mean, downloading music. We were just downloading it from, like, LimeWire or whatever have you. And then now it's just streaming. It's streaming. And, you know, I think while it didn't have, like, a considerable... We're not feeling the effects of it now. I mean, since barely anybody uses... Barely anybody downloads anymore um <laughs> says you yeah <laughs> i mean well i download I, I a lot of video game music i know, so, I know. I mean, well yeah. i mean i down yeah 
the semi I download videos video. for sure. But like, you know, cons- like, versus the public, versus the general public, you're I right. Mean, the general is public is dominant. fucking it up. Yeah, it's not- yes. Yeah. I mean, I it's not a bad thing, but certainly the future is uh, changing the way we like, are accessing this stuff. I don't know why I, I'm not as concerned with music or movies. As well, of course not. Games. I mean, I think I don't. I just don't know what it is. I mean, because it's convenience. Yeah, it, it's convenience. Well, the um, thing is, is that it's becoming less convenient now, and that's why we're noticing in a whole bunch of different areas that piracy is beginning to resurge in some respects. Yeah. Like, you have to have fucking a billion different streaming apps now to watch anything online. Mm-hmm. Because Netflix fucking lost everything. Yep. Except, you know, their yep. own, you know, originals. Yeah, which they were pretty much prepping in advance. Like, Disney's doing its own thing. Um, everyone's just doing whatever. I mean... It's like, even on consoles, you see certain companies trying to operate different things like you have the ea uh what was it the ea vault or whatever which oh, yeah, got onto right. playstation 4 Jesus. and whatnot <laughs> um i wouldn't be surprised if epic tried to force their way in um <sighs> in that front like i i feel like how they're doing it in particular is sort of the thing that i'm weary on like the biggest reason why we have like the free to play stuff and non free to play games is because the mobile market basically accepted that. And so it's like, hey, that means we can totally put it into our consoles and PC games. Right. Um... And then it's like the the other problem, I know it's not quite related, but like I remember when people didn't like grinding for stuff and like we all I mean arcades also died but thanks to microtransactions both of those things basically made a comeback yeah but like even worse than before it's no longer just like I guess actually maybe it isn't worse than before but I guess it kind of it well, it's different. I've sure. seen people do one CC runs on even the hardest of arcade games, but I'm not sure if you could like get to the top of the leaderboards in a uh, mobile game without paying any money. Yeah, like it, it's part of the thing that makes me less enthused about things, really. Right. Like it's weird in a sense because I'm almost more willing to do it with. Uh, that Yu-Gi-Oh! mobile game because it's basically using cards and stuff. Right. And um, it basically tells you everything you can get, how much is in this box before you want to refresh it or whatever. Um, And you get several packs for a low price or blah, blah, blah. Right. Um, I think part of it is just because it's a card game. And yeah, it actually it feels be- it actually feels better to buy PNGs of cards when they're versus like, hey, here's a uh, pretty cure mobile or Sailor Moon where you're paying for JPEGs. Actually, I've I seen I, I've seen the argument that yeah, using the uh, trappings from like collectible card games actually does make people more likely to want to buy microtransactions because that's how that would work in real life and so yeah i mean like hey something shiny pay for it you know exactly yeah Uh, i do like i do like dmgs though and then they specifically design everything to be as flashy like a casino thing because you know human brains like shiny effects and shit Right. Yeah, I, because I spent they like, actually get psychologists on this shit, and that's why. Which is very scary when you think about it. I fell for it once. I spent like $150 on Kingdom Hearts X. I was wow. like, oh shit. Yeah. Don't you mean Kingdom Hearts Chai? Shut up. <laughs> 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 Fuck that. That's so stupid. Uh, no, but oh, going yeah. back to that. Uh, I wish I had a chai tea. I don't like chai tea. Fuck yeah. off. 
Shut up. <laughs> okay, but before, what were you gonna um, say? I'm just saying, like, uh, it seems. Uh, I mean, okay, I'm not in, totally in favor. Of it. I know it seems like I'm like interested in this whole streaming thing, but listen, uh, it's not in all these streaming services. It's becoming a a hindrance more than a solution to the problem of uh to the phenomenon known as cord cutting these days. It's not it's not viable it's like anymore. Re- it's like revenge porn, right? It's not viable. It's just I mean, if uh, people are still going to be connected to con- Xfinity no matter how much it sucks, um, and you know AT and T. I've got uh, with- you verse. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> I, I don't remember what I have. I know I'm on AT. Actually, I do think we have Uverse. That's AT and T, right? Yeah, it's AT and T. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah we do. Um, I know we have unlimited bandwidth as well as data for our phones. That's cool. Although, again, our speeds are shit, and that actually really impacts my work. Yeah, that's Which really that, that's the. Stuff- I mean, my, was, my like, stuff's on the network, so <clears throat> <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> JJ's like gonna kick my ass now. Okay, so <laughs> should we actually covered. talk about Microsoft now? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not, I don't have uh, any interest in their games right now. I mean, what games are they actually are teasing? Uh, they've uh, just been saying I, that they have a lot of things to announce. Both on consoles and PC. <laughs> I'm hoping that they're bringing Rare Replay to Steam. Mm-hmm. Because that would also give them the out to put it on the Switch. Which a lot of people have right. been like begging for at this point. Like, We want Rare Replay on Switch. We want Rare Replay on Switch. That, that's what everyone is like anticipating at the Microsoft convention for some reason. Dude, yeah. you probably wouldn't, are going to get another teaser for Phantom Dust. Oh, or, they canceled that even, years ago. Come on! They canceled oh, yeah. that the minute the minute the trailer ended. Yeah, that which is really sad. That's it, Phantom Dust is the real life equivalent of Futurella. <laughs> they canceled it halfway through the trailer. <laughs> it, it, honestly, just this way, you know, they're gonna that that's my main point. They're just gonna show off nice trailers, and you know, they're probably not gonna even release any new info at least for a year. Well, probably I think, more. I think my only issue is partly... I'm not a primary PC gamer like I expect, so that's one less to feel... I mean, I'm not going to say... I wish he didn't do that, but... Um, because... No, you're going to say, hey, I wish he died. I, actually, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I generally... Uh, give Ice Pick his fluff news for PC gaming, because mm. I'm not, like, at the general... Assholes, I tend to call. call, call I mean, viewers. to be fair, uh, KG, it takes a very high IQ to play games on PC. Uh, <laughs> hey, hold on. We're gonna have problems here. Um, <laughs> but like, my other issue is, you know, I don't own an Xbox, and you know, first of all, we know PlayStation Five is coming next year, right. and then we know we, we know probably, that Xbox Scarlet is coming soon too, or whatever the fuck. Yeah, so it. so it's like. I'm not, it, there's nothing that's going to happen that see, I'm going to, it's going to go, oh, I need to get an Xbox. See, if I could... I if could I just switch off my sister. If I could just interject there for a second, I think that the fact that we are clearly moving from one console generation to the other makes the fact that Microsoft has made it clear that they're making PC announcements at this thing absolutely brilliant. You know, I think the console the console generation is kind of phasing out, don't you think? Yeah, a lot of people are are uh, speculating that the next generation might be the the last proper generation of. So we're never gonna get PS Nine, is what you're telling me. <laughs> we're never gonna get the mm. PlayStation Nine, like in those. I guess I'm feeling it might die from that point anyway. No one remembers so. that shitty commercial. Come on, you guys have to remember it. I do. I just didn't want to acknowledge it. Come on, it's a. It was a hilarious commercial where people were walking around carrying around fucking clear orbs filled with water that hooked into their brains, and that was a game system somehow. 
And, and it all started with the PlayStation 2 for some reason. Not the PS1, but the PlayStation 2 is what <laughs> brought us to this horrible dystopia where video game consoles exist only in your brain. Don't you mean the PSX? Oh, God. Oh, fucking you. God damn it. Um, anyway, uh, Bethesda! No, 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 okay. no, wait, 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 wait. Before we finish uh, up Microsoft... Before we finish up Microsoft, can we just all... One prediction and one wish. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. I'll go Halo last. Anivers Halo Anniversary like Switch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I, I, I would actually wish more for Ori, but... Um, I, I think I would rather go with... Uh, Halo, just because it's absurd. Yeah, yeah. I'm going with KG on this one. Okay, uh, my prediction is... I'm, I'm hoping... I My prediction is that we actually get to see gameplay footage of the upcoming Battletoads game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and my wish <laughs> is fucking Rare Replay on on Steam. And, and Switch, <laughs> I guess, if it has to be. But mostly yeah. Steam. <laughs> if it has to be. If it has to be. I mean, it probably will. I'm pretty sure that if they announce it for Steam and it isn't immediately followed up with a Switch announcement, like, people are going to flip out. <laughs> Virtual Kazooie was on the Nintendo 64! It should no, be there's... on the Switch! There, there's a part of me that feels like I might bitch during the Nintendo segment, but I think that's more of my built-up contempt. In certain areas. That's yeah. fair. <laughs> anyway, Bethesda. Okay, yeah, Bethesda. Bethesda. Um, uh, they've got uh, nothing. They've uh, got Doom Eternal. They've got Wolfenstein Youngblood, which I believe is a game where you play as the the real guy, the the real protagonist of Wolfenstein's two lesbian daughters or some shit. I don't know. They're fucking each other. That's my head game. Elder Scrolls 6 isn't going to come out for like 20 years and neither was <laughs> yeah. the, What was the name of their new IP, the sci-fi one, Starlink, Atlas Star or some shit? I don't know. That's Ubisoft. <laughs> um What well, but but they did announce that... didn't they announce that they were coming up with an, a science fiction original IP before Elder Scrolls 6 comes out? Yeah, I don't yeah, remember they did, what actually. Called. Yeah, but they said like yeah. both of them were like way, way off. They were both going to be next gen titles. Dude, they're gonna put Morrowind on the Switch. Watch. No wait, I know what they have to do. Even though Rage Two is already out, they have to bring back A and True WK to do another concert. Oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna tack something onto the Microsoft thing. Okay. But um it's I think there's a potential uh, thing that we might actually get a Fable for. Yeah, I could mm. see that. That, that. that has been a... The, that rumor has been going on for some time now. Yeah. Anyway, um, I the only thing I can seemingly recall from Bethesda is that I actually saw a thread. I don't remember what the game was because it was a Bethesda game. Um, but I know at one point back in March they were looking for someone to design they were looking for a monetization designer Ooh. and then there was and then very <laughs> recently they they um were looking for someone or they hired someone um that was capable of doing 24 7 uh live play stuff Ew. Yeah. okay n now just may i back up for a second there you said that they were trying to hire someone that was a monetization director Designer. Designer. Okay, designer. monetization yeah. designer. Okay, now, see, that those that combination of words for a, um, a position at a company sort of reminds me of, like, I, I have to wonder, does anyone hire baby rapists or, like, <laughs> elderly punchers or... Maybe, um, not, maybe not specifically, but... Or woman butchers. <laughs> do, do, do you hire w people to butcher up women? You know, chop them into pieces... Like, as if you were a butcher, because that's what monetization designer sounds like to me. I know. It, it's like that red flag. You know, you're like, I'm sorry, what? You, you just I look at his office. He, he has, like, so many obviously evil things. You see a picture of him hanging out with Satan and Hitler in mm. hell, basically. Pretty much. <laughs> God. Um, okay, yeah. so d does anyone actually care to talk more about the Bethesda? Bethesda? Not really. Not okay, I mean, well, let, 
Prediction though. Yeah, prediction Fallout and wishlist. 76. No, no, there's no wishes for me. But this is fucking annoying. Uh, <laughs> I, oh, oh, I have a prediction. Okay. Fallout 76 DMC. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Actually, go first. I, I mean, it's like. No, no, no he, Fallout he, no, 76 he's, DLC. Yeah, he, yeah, he said that's Fallout it. 76 DLC. That's his only. That's his only. Uh, uh, prediction. So, yeah. so I was also going to say Fallout 76, but for a different reason. Okay. I'm going to bet that they're not going to mention it at all. <laughs> yeah, that's. Cool. I mean, that's smart. That would be that would be an outstanding move on their part. You Pretty think? much, like they knew it was a, it was going to be a fuck up. Like they they even warned, like annou- announced ahead of time before like the beta came out. It was like you know expect the usual, but that's the same. Yeah, I'm surprised they had the fucking balls to have a conference this year. I, I mean, I feel like. They weren't going to cancel it, so yeah, like, well, sh- should I go? It's just an obligation. I mean, they're, either they're idiots or just you know brave as hell. And I think fucking... it's more brave, but you know, bravery does have a lot of stupidity in it. You have to remember that. Yep. Um, okay, so is it my turn? To... Go ahead. Okay, uh, prediction is that I want to hope that they didn't do this, but I'm almost certain that they took out that hilarious mortally impaired joke out of Doom Eternal because it was hilarious. Mortally impaired. You, you remember that? Like, like they were showing off Doom Eternal gameplay, year, like, yeah. yeah, last year, and it was like, they were walking around, they had this, like, service announcement, it was like, please don't refer to our, our guests from hell as demons. Refer to them as the mortally impaired. Or some shit like that, basically. And, and then a bunch yeah. of journos got like butt hurt about that because I wish I saw that one. That, that one was great. The, the and uh, as for wish list, this is I I will always go for the hail mary on the wish lists uh-huh. if I can. Commander Keen reboot. <laughs> nice. No fuck it, make it happen. You heard? You hear me, Todd? I will buy Skyrim. I will buy Skyrim for the first time if you make a Commander Keen reboot. All I know is that they actually did put a Commander Keen game on the Nintendo eShop recently. Yeah, Keen Dream. That that was that was an unofficial one, and I, from what I can tell, I think it might have been taken down afterwards. I think it's still on my wish list. Let me check. Okay, because I know that there are some weird legal issues with Keen Dreams. It was like an unofficial game. I got it on Steam before they had to take it down. <clears throat> so I've got it, but like. I'd be annoyed if that was the case because I could have just bought it and then I didn't. Yeah, and then um, you'd have like one of those like rare ass systems, like the people who have PT on their PS4s. Yeah, I remember like one of the pinball games um, briefly went up in America, well, on eShop, and it just happened to have access to the Williams tables, but uh, because um, they lost the rights to that. Yeah, because the Switch wasn't in their contract. Right. And so the pinball key people uh, got it. Right, right. Um, okay, well, let me know if... Should, should we move on to the next one? The oh, most hey. important... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I found it. I found it. Is, it. is it still up? Yeah. Okay, well, fair enough. Maybe maybe someone actually did get the rights properly this time. The, the, um, the price keeps going down, though. Um... Like it, it's, we're not even talking like sales. Like it started off at like ten dollars, and then it went down to um, eight, and now it's like six dollars. That sounds about right. I, I, I would probably. I mean, I think it was like based on the engine from the first three games anyway. So. Mm-hmm. I think I might wait until my next payday to download. Well, by then it might be down to like two dollars. <laughs> yeah. <pretty much. laughs> Uh, okay, so now now let's move on to me favorite conference of right. the entire Devolver show, Digital. Devolver Digital. Yes, I can't wait to see how they follow up last year's. Um, it's weird. I was about to say after this one, there's like a huge wave of uninteresting things, but PC gaming is right after the PC one, the gaming next is one. going to be a shit show and I'm going to watch it because I'm angry at it and I'm going to hate watch it. And Kate and, and psych knows that I hate watch things. Yeah. Yeah. Like, remember the year the first, when, yeah, remember the first, the first Xbox one? PC. Yeah. 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 I remember that. I remember, I remember 
the first PC gaming show, I just was super excited. I, I was excited, and then I got, like, fucking angry at it. I mean, it was pretty boring. It, it was, was yeah. It was incredibly... It just kept going! It was, yeah, like, it was... five hours. Uh. I kept on thinking it was going to end, but it just kept going. It didn't yeah, stop. I... Eventually, I just, you know, ran out of steam. For yeah, like eventually, Psych like, just gave up, but I kept watching for, like, longer, and then eventually even I gave up, because I was yeah. like, fuck this shit. <laughs> I wasted and four then, hours on this. And then, Ice Pick was excited for the second one, and I'm like, I was like, what the hell is wrong with this man? I realized at that point that the joke was that it was into... Wasn't the second one, like, a, like in a talk show format? Or was that the first yeah. one? That was one the of them first had one. like a talk show format, and it was hilarious. Was, it was the first one, actually. Yeah, then yeah. That's, that's why. That's why I came back. Then last year, they finally gave me something to actually care about: Sega's best in Japan lineup. Mm-hmm. Yakuza Zero, Yakuza Kiwami, Valkyria Chronicles Four. Oh God, what were the other two? Shining, Shining Resonance Refrain, was it? Shining Residence. It was shining. It was. Yeah, you don't even know the title. Laugh at me because I guessed. Well, I know you were wrong, but it's like I know you got. Okay, let's see. Let's see what it. Okay, let let me see what it is then. It's like shining something. If it ends up being Shining Residence, I'm going to like yell at you. Shining Residence (laughs) refrain. I, th- I thought you said residence. No, I said residence. Okay, okay, because that's why I was ridiculing it for this. I misheard the residence. Part. Okay, fair it's enough residence. then. Okay, then I'm not going to get angry at you because you misheard me. That's fair. <laughs> He's gonna kick your ass, KG. But l- let's go back. <laughs> let's go back to the real, the real Ex- good shit. Devolver Digital. Last year they announced Metal Wolf Chaos XD, which has not yet surfaced. Mm, and they accidentally sense. said that there was going to be a Switch version before they immediately said that no, there wasn't. Oh, just like Randy Pitchford. Except worse. I mean, I mean, not that bad. Not as bad. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad you Okay, that's important that. news right there that you wrote yeah. in there. In the text like I announced it before, but, I, but it's pretty relevant right now. Um, yeah, that's, that's soon, isn't it? Yeah, that's is that like... gonna happen while I'm asleep? Yeah. Oh, oh well. I'll, yeah. Well, then I'll have good. Then maybe I'll have good news to wake up to in the morning. Yeah, <coughs> I'm probably just gonna prep myself to be disappointed by the fact that Sonic Three and Knuckles won't be on there. Oh no, it definitely issue. won't be on there. Rocket Knight, Rocket Knight, Rocket Knight, Rocket Knight, Rocket Knight, Rocket Knight. I can see that one being there. It better be. It deserves to be there. We got Hardcore. We got Bloodlines. We just need Rocket Knight, and then we'll have all the Konami games that are worth a fuck on that system. Aside from Hyperstone Heist, but that has rights issues, so I'm not going to, like, force it. Yeah. Rocket Knight. Rocket Knight. Rocket Knight. (laughs) I'm game for that. Yeah. Um, KG. But, uh... (laughs) But yeah, Devolver Digital, I'm sure that we're going to see some wacky shit. It's going to make fun of all the other E3 conferences, which is great. Although, I guess they'll have less material this year because EA is not doing anything. You know, I, I, I still f- not sure what to expect from Devolver. On one hand, that's great, but on the game stuff, it's like, what could they, what could they get? Like, like, the only thing I could still think of is PC indie games that aren't on, on consoles or something. That's, uh, really, unfortunately, I don't have a good list of that. When, I really hope their presentation, they shake up their presentation a bit. Well, I mean, I last like, year they had, like, a, they had they kept having, like, completely different hosts every time they came back from a trailer, didn't they? And then the original really? host from the first year came back and, like, started killing people because she's like, I didn't get killed, bitches! Oh, yeah, and then right. she got shot up like RoboCop. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Remember yeah. loot box coin? Yeah. Loot box coin was amazing, Psych. It was great. <laughs> it the it was first presentation was uh caught me off guard. Like I didn't know what the fuck was going on and I loved it. Yeah, that's what that's how I feel about all like I know what to expect now, but that's what I love about it. Maybe maybe they'll like surprise me again. 
that's the thing though, like, if you... I mean, if I know what to expect, am I gonna enjoy it as much as I did originally? And that's what I felt about when I watched the second one. Like, it was funny, but it was more of the same. Uh, more of the same unpredictability. <laughs> unpredictable. I get what yeah, you're trying to say. Yeah, more of the same randomness. Yeah. And I'm like, eh, it's fine. Uh, probably they change up the randomness of it. Like, they, they, you know, play it straight instead of, uh, silly. Like, like we... I mean... Go ahead. Not, like... Not like they play it straight, but they seem like to play it straight. They really, like, pretend to play it straight really well. I mean, what yeah. strikes me as weird is that you'd think that after Devolver Digital had their conference that, like, Adult I'll Swim right Games back. would try to get on that bandwagon. Oh, some games. Adult Swim is... I don't know what's going on with that. Actually. You mean, like, the TV thing or the games? Because the games actually come out, out with some pretty interesting ones. No, the TV, TV said. No, well, then yeah, that's. On. Well, ever since they canceled Aqua Teen Hunger Force, I've really stopped caring. Although they are bringing out <laughs> Final Space Season Two, which I loved. Final I space. loved Final Space. Fi watch Final Space. Watch it. I never, never heard of that. Show. It was on oh! TBS. Yeah. This is. Oh yeah, I remember this. That show's Shit, fucking I'm... good. Is it good? It is good. I I highly recommend it. Um, just right. I know that a lot of people say that it was a good thing to you know to like to, to use in order to wait until Rick and Morty came back. Don't no, that's wrong. It's good in its own right, but do not compare it to Rick and Morty. It's a different show. It seems like it should be similar based on surface level stuff, but it is a different show. Mm -hmm. I don't think we can have predictions or wish lists for Devolver though. Yeah, they're pretty. Uh unpredictable yep so moving on let's skip the vr <laughs> thing because fuck vr yeah i'm not interested what about you kg kg do you want to talk vr hentai did he go to take a shit uh, i think so hey kg uh did you go take a shit kg are you taking a shit kg use two ply toilet paper not one ply like you usually do. I think he might be constipated. Shit. <laughs> so should we Little just talk shit. shit about the PC gaming show until he gets back? <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, PC gaming show. Um, this year I... it's being sponsored by the fucking shit. The, the worst fucking shit skulls in the entire world. Ep the Epic Game Store, which I fucking no! hate with a passion. No! And I fucking hate them because they bought out PC Gamer, the... the the publication that was running the PC gaming show, and they're a bunch of fucking shills now, and I hate both of them, but I'm going to watch it just on the off chance that a portal opens up from my monitor to the stage so that I can throw empty glass bottles at Tim fucking Sweeney's fucking stupid nerd-ass looking face because he's a piece of shit, and I hope he dies. God, yeah, that was man. cathartic. <clears throat> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they already said that uh, Sega will not be involved in their conference this year. They said the timing was bad, so that was the only thing I could possibly be looking forward to on that. Oh, I didn't even know that it was being uh, sponsored by Epic Oh, Games. no, they made a big deal. Let me, show, let me show you the new logo from this year. Let me Dude, show you. The, no, there's a lo They changed up the logo. Let me see if I can find it. Oh God! PC it's it's, it's going to be 2019. Blatant, blatantly obvious. Yes, it is. It is here. I want to show you. I want to. Uh, where the fuck is that picture? Come on, come on! Jesus stop Christ, stop hiding from me, you coward! God, uh, where is? It? Come on, where where are you? I know. I saw you. I saw you. Where are you? Where did you go? I already. I know that I sound like I'm drunk, but I'm just angry. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just no, so I fucking angry. <laughs> I, I didn't fucking know that. hate the Epic Games. I hate it. Shit, dude, I didn't even know that they were sponsoring. I, shit, all the controversy and surrounding okay, that. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, I found it. I, I found, I found it. Okay, take a look at this. Okay, okay. Let's take see. a look at this. PC Gamer presents PC Gaming Show. 
powered by the Epic Game ah, Store. Look at it. Awful. Look at it. Shit, it's even dude. it's even KG's the thumbnail. Fat. It's even KG. the thumbnail on the fucking link. Oh. Man, KG, you must have a very, very nice, eloquent rant from I was from like, Ice I was incredibly angry. I, I, I think that was more to get you caught up, Psych. Yes, it, I mean, yes, but no, it also I mean, felt I, cathartic as well. I needed it. I mean, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm aware about the Epic Games uh, Cocksuckers. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of that. I didn't know that. They were hosting this stupid yes, thing. Yes, they are hosting this stupid thing, which is why I have to watch it now more than ever. Shit, dude. I, and Tim Sweeney himself has made comments. Tim to, Sweeney uh, is the Tim Sweeney is actually the worst aspect of the entire game of the entire Epic Game Store because he just keeps on digging himself deeper. <clears throat> the platform yeah. wars will be fought by developers, not consumers. Will We'll not only stop buying up exclusives, but we'll put our own games on Steam if they match our revenue share. Shopping oh. cart? What the fuck is that? Shit, dude. It's hey, we it's we, we have weird. a roadmap. Oh wait, we still have the road. No, no, no. Through. The roadmap. The best part about the roadmap is: Do you want to know how far off shopping carts are? More than six months for a shopping cart. I learned how to program a fucking shopping cart when I was in high school. <coughs> that was like a one-day assignment. That's a that's the thing you can do on WordPress and Blogger. Exactly. Yeah. Why six and a why over six months? Why? Why though? Because uh, Tim Sweeney is a weenie. sucker. Oh yeah, yeah that. That's that's even better, even better. Okay, so I've I've gotten all that out of my system. Do either of you have anything to say about the PC gaming shit show? I feel like <laughs> you basically said anything that yeah. Been said that okay, doing. then let's go with predictions and wish list. Uh, I hope it fucking crashes. Okay, KG. I, 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 <laughs> I hope they cry to their mothers. As for me, my prediction is that every non-Japanese game will be an Epic Game Store exclusive, which will just cause me to, like, probably have an aneurysm from anger. And my wish list is that Epic Games continues to be fu as fucking racist as they are against Japanese developers because they're a bunch of retarded shitheads. And um, <laughs> I, I want them all to die. And... I, I do, actually, you know, I, I would like to... I know that Tim Sweeney will probably never hear this because he's a worthless, spineless piece of human refuse. But, Timmy Boy, <laughs> if you want to be my friend, I've got three criteria. One, kill your fucking game store. Two, <clears throat> give me and every member of my family a billion dollars every year for the rest of our lives. Or three, charter a bus... Get all of your major employees and staff from the Epic Game Store division of your um, of your company, including that fucking turncoat Steam Spy Galyoikin or whatever the fuck his name is, that rusty bastard. I want you to weld it shut, and I want you to drive straight off the Grand Fucking Canyon. The betrayal. Yes. <laughs> you you want to be my buddy, Timmy boy? That's what it'll take. Timmy boy. Yeah, Timmy, you fucking piece of shit. I'm not gonna call you Tim. You, you're oh. Timmy. You are. <laughs> you have literally outclassed Tim Schafer, Mr. Shitface himself, <coughs> in being the worst person named Tim in human history. Jeez, I thought I had <coughs> issues with people called Jared outside of my cousin. Well, <laughs> I mean, to be fair, a lot of people named Jared. <laughs> ended up being really creepy sex pests. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think my personal Jared isn't that bad. However, um, while he's not that bad, I, actually, I don't want to divulge that. Got I, <laughs> I, I think, I think, yeah, I, I think yelling, private. I think it's yelling, private. I think but, yelling um, at the PC gaming show has killed my voice. I need to get some water, so why don't you guys talk about Limited Run because I don't give a fuck about them?
And I'll be back as soon as I can. I actually <clears throat> don't even care either. Let's Just see. Buy me like five minutes. Okay. But you know, but Limited you know, but run. Limited run. Let me think of what. Like the about. only people I've had problems with are people named Angel and fucking hell, they're anything but angels. They're fucking jerks. They're fucking bullies. Every every single angel I've met, this is the worst pr uh, piece of shit. I don't know what their mothers are thinking, man. I don't know what the fuck. Would, I don't, Jesus you Christ. know, you're just reminding me of something. Um, uh, during my high school year, I mean, we were just sitting at the table um, and whatnot, and I think they were discussing something. Um, I think I tried to interject at one point and do a conversation. And, uh, she, she, she actually dropped the N-word. Ha, ha, ha. It's like, <laughs> what I miss. <laughs> oh, so he, he started ranting about people, about, pe about people named Angel, and, um, I actually mentioned that at one point while I was in high school, um, while, while we were working and having a conversation, one of them actually <laughs> called me the N-word. I think the only thing that really bugs me about Angel is that apparently it's a man's name, and that just bugs me for some reason. Actually, I don't think you need to justify why it bugs you. <laughs> I think we get it. It just sounds like it should be a girl's name, right? Yeah. Sure, I mean, sure. I mean, I mean it's like the only people I can associate. <clears throat> like, the only, the only problem I have with the uh, people named Angel is that they're anything but. They're, they're, they're the... So, so it's like they named them that ironically, basically. Nah, I'm, I'm pretty sure their mothers think, oh man, they're so cute, they're so adorable, they're well, like an angel. I mean, well, I mean, to be fair, they probably were at first. Yeah, yeah, fucking and hell. Then, and then they realized that yeah. the investment was bad. They were fucking high at first. What the fuck are you talking about? Like they, they had a high, They had that childbirth high. Yeah. Right. They, oh hey, man, this is the ugliest piece of shit. But I'm gonna call him Angel because. <laughs> He's beautiful when I'm on shrooms. <laughs> beautiful while on on insurance. Shrooms. Shrooms. Well, yeah, no, no, like, yeah, no, like, yeah, insurance. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I said insurance. I think I said insurance. I'm gonna... Insurance. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, fuck, um, fuck yeah. limited run because that's just digital games getting physical copies. No one yeah. cares. Yeah. But don't you I take it back. Shell lady? cares, but I don't. No one else. Yeah, I, I actually stopped buying in general. I mean, the house of F Fata Morgana was was sort of interesting, but uh, I found out too late and I didn't have the money for it anyway. Because I yeah. had to pay rent. Okay, um, so after limited run, we've got Ubisoft. It's Sykes' no favorite. No, oh, God. Come on, Psych, aren't you excited for another <laughs> Assassin's Creed game? No. Or no, Watch Dogs no, Legion, which got leaked today by Amazon? Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, it's in the UK, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. or Beyond yeah. Good and Evil 2, which, you know, takes is... a game that was a beloved <clears throat> single-player Zelda-like experience with a cliffhanger ending and instead decided to make a massively multiplayer game that's a prequel that's set before the game. Mm -hmm. The wow, best really? case scenario that will... Oh, you didn't hear about all that? No. <laughs> lucky, lucky year. you then, because I don't, I don't actually care about Beyond Good and Evil, but I feel bad I for either. people who do. I feel bad for them because the best case scenario is that that game ends up being the Western counterpart to Mega Man Legends Three. I watched Dogs. Damn, dude, uh, I didn't. I thought the first game looked neat. Uh, I slowly though, quickly though, quickly. Sorry. Not slowly. Quickly, my hype died for it, and I didn't really give a shit. It turned out to be a piece of shit, and I was, uh, you know, um... And then they made a second game for no reason. Yeah, it was like, you know, you know, we did Assassin's Creed too, so we could do Yeah, I was, I was pretty vindic- I was vindicated, uh... Watch Dogs 2 looked like crap, too. Uh, right. Not gameplay-wise, I just... Like, like general, the characters... Right. Yeah, in general, yeah. just... Fucking and, awful. And now like, it's oh. like, hey, now you can be anyone. You can. Be... Oh I god, think... they're turning it into one of those. Yeah. Ugh. Um, Assassin's Creed. My high, my uh, excitement for any upcoming Assassin's Creed game is dead. I know they revived the series with um, what was the one before Odyssey? Um, 
God, what was the one before Odyssey? It was... Unity? Yeah. Why do they... Why can't no, they it was Origin, them? wasn't it? No. Wait. It was the one set in Egypt, right? <laughs> Oh yeah, that then the, yeah, yeah, that was. Yeah, so yeah. Odyssey was the Greek one and Origins was the Egyptian one? Yeah. I mean that's the that's that's right, but uh, I haven't been excited for <clears throat> in this had street game since four. And I didn't even get four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I didn't I didn't I don't care anymore. Like yeah. I, I remember reading somewhere that they said that they intended to oh. release like four triple a games by next by the by uh, next fiscal year, by the end of this fiscal year and i'm just like what the fuck calm down calm down ubisoft calm down that's the, that's the thing like they went they milked the franchise faster than the mcu did with their property yeah that's true and, and it's just uh like eventually you know <laughs> it's not gonna it's not gonna uh implode on itself or anything it's just that some individuals are just gonna go like just too much too soon you know yeah yeah i and wish i had more more imagination for the for a lot of them it, it, it's weird because it's like i think the general issue i have again and i feel like i mentioned this yesterday yesterday is the fact that I'm generally interested with the Japanese developers and whatnot. That's true, yeah. and the problem is, is that at E3 they usually partner up with the console manufacturers, so it's kind of hard to yeah. Really Unless you're square I, I mean, but... I mean, if, if I could backtrack for a second, I am really hoping that we get some Capcom stuff at the Microsoft conference. And the oh, yeah. the yeah. ultimate fuck you though. Like, you know how Microsoft would always get, like, a weird Capcom exclusive? It would usually be, like, a Dead Rising game. But Dead yeah. Rising is dead now, thank God. It, they put it to rest after they ruined it with the fourth game. Dead rights. You know what? You know what, Ca you know what Microsoft Capcom exclusive I want? What? <coughs> DMC2. Uh, Make it bad. happen. I am no, as long as it's not Dragon Dogma 2, I'd be fine. Oh god. I am sad that Dead Rising is I'd be pissed dead. if it was actually Xbox exclusive. I mean, like, I, I, I mean I'm it, sad not... that Dead Rising died, but I'm sad at what caused it to die, and mm -hmm. I understand why it's dead, and... I'm not sad what caused it to die, I'm upset what caused it to die. Well, I'm upset. I'm just saying yeah. that it's like, I'd rather have it die and, like, <clears throat> n not let Capcom Vancouver hurt it anymore than to keep it going. <laughs> yeah, like the yeah I see your point. Other shit show that it was at that. Yeah, point. yeah, I see, I see your point. And it's just, it's just really uh, disappointing the way it went. Uh, oh, I agree. I haven't played Dead Rising three, but I'm sure it has its fans. I, I uh, still need to play Dead Rising three. I, I do intend to play that one because I, I yeah, it didn't I played seem the majority of. It didn't. I played the majority of Dead Rising one, and it was a great game. I but played the, first the game, entirety of Dead Rising. <laughs> I, I, but beat, I, play, I beat overtime mode in that one, so... Yeah, I, I heard that's it's really fun. <laughs> oh, it is actually really fun, yeah. I, yeah. I love the first game. I like the second uh, the first, game. Uh, the off the record is the best game in the series, though, bar none. But the first game I, the first game I ever played uh, in the Dead Rising franchise was Dead Rising 2, and I just love the damn aesthetic of the, the uh, setting and the uh, zombies and how it contradicts psychopaths and... It's just so cool. I, I I don't know what it was about it that's just so enticing that you can kill zombies uh, in such creative ways, but also you know have a a B movie plot. Right. <laughs> yeah, it, and you have some crazies that aren't too raunchy, but still raunchy enough to like go like <clears throat> that's weird. And then just to see it go down the drain. Mm -hmm. Go down the drain and just buy some hipster, hipster people, looking people that don't understand what made Dead Rising so great. I'm not Frank West. I'm Hank East. 
All right. Now that I think about it, I get the feeling that they might talk a bit more about Monster Hunter at the Microsoft thing. That so makes Sony's sense. not going to be I mean, there. Yeah, Sony, Sony isn't going to be there. So yeah, the guy. Oh no, yeah, that's right. So here's our next monsters that are totally influenced by worldwide designs and that are less Japanese designs. Um, here's like a derivative monster. And this I'm sorry is if I sound Bojira. negative. I'm sorry if I sound negative about it, but. Um, the monster designs were kind of derivative off of previous ones that they showed off. Um, so yeah, um, I'm still probably going to buy it either way. But <laughs> not I mean, quite. Yeah, you, you are I'm, KG and this is a Monster Hunter game. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just, um, I guess it's one of the things I'm not too thrilled of in regards to def design influences. It kind of feels weird to me. Um, at how significant of a shift of let's see, like Pokemon designs were versus Monster Hunter, because it's like, hmm, how do I put it? Like, there's more influence from a particular region that influences designs. Hell yeah! Both of them, but one of them is kind is like more unique in a way. Dude, we're gonna get a Pokemon that's uh, a living doorknob. <laughs> like one of the things I mentioned um, because one of my friends found a, like this millipede in Ohio and one of his friends was like oh you should touch it and then he googles it and finds out that if he did it was like super poisonous and shit it's like I can't believe one of my f so called friends on this forsaken website <laughs> tried to get me killed I was like you know you know, like that's the thing about I liked about uh, American Pokemon regions. They it, they introduced awesome bug Pokemon, and that's why I would want one like a Pokemon game based in Australia oh, God. for more bug Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> like it's great. Like they have early bug Pokemon that are actually awesome. Well, no, I'm not I, arguing I, that. I'm just saying I know, that like I'm everything not. would they wouldn't even have to turn them into Pokemon though. Yeah, they are already dangerous, and the, the animals in Australia are already dangerous enough. They don't need to be. You don't need to give them fire breath and shit. Yeah, I know. It, it, it's just for the sake of awesome bug Pokemon. Right? No, I I, I, actually, I, I understand. I Krutha really loved them during Gen Seven, and I even contemplated doing like a full bug team, and ultimately decided against that because that was a dumb idea. But like. Yeah, I like I like getting underwrapped typings, getting more representation. I, I can I can about. understand that. But in any case, um, we're still on Ubisoft. Yeah, we're, we're still on Ubisoft. The only thing um, I'd actually want from Ubisoft would be another Rayman game, I guess. I guess I, I can't really yeah. think of anything else. And yes, yes. Uh, raving rabbits too. Not raving no, rabbits. Fuck, ra the fuck the rabbits! I want actual Rayman. Yeah, I'm nobody. Real Rayman. <laughs> nobody cares about rabbits. Fuck no. So okay. angry about that Mario game. So the only one who's still angry about that Mario game. Though. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else loves it. <laughs> it pisses me off. <laughs> it, piss it really does piss me off, though. That's the thing. Like okay. you think I'm joking? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you are. Let's see. Um, and then we have the KF Showcase games. Well, the only cool thing about that is that they've got Judgment Moon. Okay, I take that back. I don't know what to expect from them. They showcase a lot of weird indie shit. Devolver yeah, Digital is cool because what... they... Sorry, go ahead. I don't know what a KF game showcase is. Okay, they, they did one of those last year. It wasn't during E3, which... It was, like, at some other point. I think it might have been in, like, July or August or something. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and basically, they just show off random-ass games, and it's cool, and I like it. But, like, I don't, I don't really know how to predict it, because they would usually just show off random-ass indie games. Mm. Yeah, I don't know how to approach it, really. So we should ignore it. <laughs> I mean, I think it's going to be cool. And there's gonna be some, uh, <clears throat> there's gonna be some um, judgment news there apparently. Oh sweet! So yeah, maybe you something. shouldn't ignore it. <laughs> yeah, maybe I shouldn't. 
Maybe you shouldn't. Let's see. It's at 6.30. Uh, that's around the time I start wrapping up from work, actually. Hooray! Um, and if I'm actually really efficient, I'm essentially done by 6.30. Um, so, we got Square Enix next. Okay, I now, believe... can, can I just, can I just say something about this? Go ahead. Okay, Square Enix, I don't like you, and I don't know how you feel about me, but I assume that you don't like me because I'm one of those people who yells at you to do something with your Japanese IPs besides Dragon Quest, Kingdom Hearts, and Final Fantasy. Right. But please, mm. please understand... <laughs> Please understand <laughs> that you have a golden opportunity in front of you right here. Sony is not doing an E3 conference this year. They're not doing anything for E3, apparently, as far as I can tell. They're doing some stupid-ass days of play thing, which is a nothing thing, wh which no one cares about at all, because it looks like it's just going to be a shitty sale, and they're going to be selling some weird-ass variant on the PS4 Pro or something. I don't know. But listen, at the last, at their last little knockoff of the Nintendo Direct, they showed off some, uh, they showed off some footage from your upcoming Final Fantasy VII remake. Right. Now, what you need to do is you need to follow up on that because they said that we would be getting more information in June. If mm -hmm. you do not have that information in your conference, then just stop coming to E3. Period. You've got a literal slam dunk in front of you. I don't give a fuck about this game, and even I am rooting for you to show off something about it. Yeah. Just fucking it's... do it. You know, you know when I think about it, like, at the very least, it, they get benefits from um, the fact that, you know, we know that PS5 will actually play PS4 games. So at least it's easier to jump in on that. Um, it did make me one make me wonder in regards to Xbox and PlayStation going forward if like if they're just going to rather than release two versions of a game, they just release one. I mean, and, what would um, be cool is if they would do scaling similar to um, PC. I, I know that I'm. I know that I sound like a broken record when it comes to this, but the best PC ports out there out there are the ones that actually scale. So if you have like a weaker computer, you can play it with like shittier graphics, or if you've got mm -hmm. like a monster rig, you can play it in like 8K with uh, 120 frames per second. Yeah. Just do that. Just mm -hmm. do it. That, that would make everyone happier. I don't. <laughs> I don't know who. I was about to say I expect him to bring up Dragon Quest S, but then I remember, you know, their um, their Twitter, the the Dragon Quest Twitter in general, Dragon they're Quest only promoting, Twitter. yeah, they only promote the PS4 versions, yeah. and it's up to Nintendo to promote the Nintendo versions. Yeesh. So it's like you see all the... So most of the advertisement we had for Dragon Quest Builders 2 is from Nintendo on their own social media, mm -hmm. and the Dragon Quest Twitter like, tweeted twice about it. Right. And that's <clears> it. So it, it's just like, you know, I know they want a wider audience, but it doesn't feel like they reach out for it. it, it it's like <clears> the most they do is we'll put it here and that's it. So what you're saying is that Square Enix is going to double penetrate us? <laughs> Maybe. I'm just wondering if Babylon's Fall is still a thing, because we haven't heard anything know. about that since, like, last E3, have we? No. Not as far as I can tell, anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> um, okay, predictions and wish list then. Unless, Psych, do you have anything to say about Square Enix? Oh, yeah, um... Well, well, let's see. Well, what, what, you guys want to talk about the Avengers game? Oh, yeah, go for All it, right, man. that's happening. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I forgot about that. We got more info about that, so... It's happening. Yeah, <laughs> we thought it was cancelled, <laughs> but apparently it's alive. I'm sorry, who's we in this? Uh... Yo Mama. He's got okay. you there, KG. He did. I, I give him props for that. He's oh, KG, you, KG, did you really think it was a lie? Oh, 
on the phone? No. Oh, oh wow. I didn't... I guess... Oh, wow. I never realized that aspect of time zones. You What's loved that? me. Like, <laughs> like, I'm so used to the concept of everything being different by an hour that I never thought about the difference between it being like an hour and a half. That's kind of weird. Oh, are you talking about the New Delhi and the Adelaide ones? Yeah. Yeah, mm. I, I noticed that too. I think that's weird too. I, I don't get it. Yeah. Yeah. Not me. Oh, did you really think it was alive though, KG? I mean, I don't think anyone thought it was alive. I, did, did we actually get KG confirmation did, before this? KG <laughs> thought though. I mean, he's I, like I know saying, they had Who's... something. Like I, but I think it's because I was never really looking forward to it. I never had the time to think that it was dead. I mean, sure. I mean, but uh, I mean, Phoenix was like. Hey, that's come in and we want everybody to know. Even like people who are just like not interested in, in anything Chris Greenix does is at least acknowledges that hey it's a Marvel property game. I just uh, think it's weird that like, didn't this sorry, go ahead. No go ahead, go ahead. I just think it's weird that didn't it get like announced before we even knew about the uh the Spider Man PS four game? Did it? I'm, 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 I'm asking. Pretty sure, it was, pretty sure it came, it, the announcement was afterwards. <clears throat> I, I could have sworn that it was at least around the same time, but... Like, it was the same year, I okay, think. Fair, fair enough, right. though, but it's like... like... We're, def we're definitely getting a double dos dosage of Marvel this next week. But now that we'll I think about it. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying that, like... <laughs> Like, I'm pretty sure that whatever announcement we got for the game was, like, not accompanied with, like, anything. A anything, like, concrete with it. Like, not even, like, a proof of concept trailer. Is that correct? Right. That's what I remember. But if I'm I wrong, then... That's the case because this is being considered as a reveal. Right, but that's what I'm saying, though, is that, like, the fact that we didn't have anything to go on... I, I feel like saying that people thought that the game was dead is a little disingenuous because it's less that they thought it was dead, it's that they didn't think that that it was alive to begin with, it seems like. Like Phantom <clears throat> Dust. Right, exa exactly, like Phantom Dust, which, again, got cancelled halfway through the original trailer. <laughs> we all know. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, pretty sure we're going we're gonna to get a trailer, that's my prediction. Uh, for I still don't know if we'll get Dragon, like the Dragon Quest info that we're expecting from Square Enix, at least. Um, mm. I wouldn't be surprised if they talked about mobile games, because I like cutting my wrist. Um, they like they literally just announced Dragon Quest Walk and uh... Dragon Quest. Why did they name it that? <laughs> you got me, dude. <laughs> because Go was already taken. <laughs> Yeah, and plus they dragon can't do and plus like you know the, the next thing that they'll probably do is dragon quest rest dragon quest sleep was like jog <laughs> dragon quest saunter and it's like oh you know there are people who are interested in the in dragon quest walk but i'm sitting here going will it actually make it out here mm. considering how how they are with dragon quest in general feel like I feel like it would be I feel like it would waste more money if they didn't bring it out here I mean you've already yeah. got a name that is basically in English so mm -hmm. like, <clears throat> like it already annoys me where it's like oh you know we're gonna try to expand the IP like they, they did with Dragon on, like, Quest shitting, 9 and then they, and then they, they do something the on that basically yeah yeah because then they followed it up with Dragon Quest 10 a Japanese only MMO which, you know, that was pretty smart. Right? That was intelligent. <laughs> that was sarcasm to our listeners. Um, like, like right now, Nintendo's doing their thing. Um, they're actually promoting the games. Um, getting it, their mind share and whatnot. Um, 
I mean, it's no surprise that all the Dragon Quest games have appeared on uh, Nintendo systems when I think about it. It's no surprise. Um, other than that, well, well, I mean, I guess it's mainly because despite, you know, a lot of people being on PS4, it, 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 like, Nintendo is probably the only major company left that probably even gives a fuck about Japanese developers. And, you know, I, I hate to say it, but it doesn't feel like the feelings are always mutual on that front. Because they're still, because, you know, Nintendo has their own troubled history with consoles and whatnot. Right. And, yeah. you know, you can still see that uh, lack of confidence with Switch. Although well, yeah, it's better also, than Wii U for sure, but... No, but looking back, though, the greatest failure was Nintendo Wii. <laughs> 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 and, like, I actually... Th- uh, I, oh, while this feels more appropriate for Nintendo, I, I sort of noticed how, uh, like, we're in the third year of the Switch, I believe. Um, they're replacing their systems next year. If Switch has a five-year thing, they're basically switching consoles in the second year of their console. So are they catching up with them? I know we've unofficially moved on to Nintendo, but I don't think it's a lack of confidence in the Switch. I think it's a lack of vision. Um, apparently, there's rumors that there, there's going to be uh, different models. Like a Switch I mean, Mega and a Switch Mini, you mean? Yeah, yeah. It, Coming in July or something like that, or in the summer. It was it was <laughs> end of June, but like I, I'm not sure if that has much credence anymore. Because, um... They haven't the announced Japan, anything. Well, they're not... They said they weren't at E3. But the thing about it is that, like, shops in Japan need, like, a one-month notice mm. in advance. So that way they can do pre-orders and stuff. And, right. um, if they wanted to do an end of <clears throat> release, their last day to announce something was on the 31st of May. Ah. They probably so. got the dates wrong, then. Probably, um, I, like, there's also a bunch of other things where it's like, oh, you know, maybe and the souped up switch isn't new hardware, it's like a software update that lets it overclock or whatever. Um, mm. oh, shit. people data mining the updates and stuff. I mean, so. that makes more, that makes sense considering a, what was the hardware update, it'd be a little bit more expensive. Like, I, like I don't, I feel like if there was a two device thing, it sound. I feel like it, it sounds like the wires are getting crossed in terms of rumors. Because one of the things that stuck out a lot for Nintendo rumors is that they're not quite consistent. Like, people think they have multiple sources and whatnot, but like the reality is it's that it's just one source and then all the other information kind of gets telephoned between other people um, who have connections and whatnot. And that's why it's so hard to get a get the right pulse on Nintendo announcements. Is, I, um, I don't mean to sound rude, but did we just like inadvertently switch from Square Enix to Nintendo or was this just a random yeah. side? No, I, I, honest, I said that, and I mean, I said yeah. that we moved to Square. We moved to Nintendo already. I mean, without saying anything. I mean, I, was, I, I, mean I wanted to say something about Square Enix, but I got to <laughs> fuck that. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go um, ahead. Might as well cover it. My, got, my bad. Uh, predictions. God only Man, knows. He's, Wish list. He's I, still ass, want an, I still want a Nier. Uh, I still want an original Nier uh, remaster mm. on uh, PC and modern consoles. Okay, now we can just move full speed into Nintendo. I'm... Honestly, I, I, the way I initially wanted to do this before I fucked it up <laughs> myself was I was going to back up and talk about their in- inventationals that they were going to do on the Oh, 8th Jesus of June. Christ, those things. Go for it. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Tune you out, though, all right. Any of it's going to be very brief, but okay. basically, um, wow. Holy shit. That, like. The Splatoon and the Super Mario Maker one 
like there's only 30 minutes in between them. How are oh, they going wow. to do a Super Mario Maker? Are they just going to use pre-fabricated -fa stages or something? Probably. Um, which, uh, that's pretty rough. And Splatoon 2, it's just a world championship. They'll probably go, all right, we're ending our support for it. Blah, blah, blah. Thanks for all the laughs. Then you have Super mm -hmm. Smash Ultimate, blah, blah, blah. And Lord knows they'll, they'll probably go, oh, hey, by the way, we're going to reveal a new character that's probably out right now. Uh, and maybe we'll, we'll do a teaser for the next one. So Third boring. Three, blah, blah, blah. And I, I'm going to be blunt. I'm actually really not happy with the Smash Bros. fan base in general. Um, so I really don't want to delve too much into Smash Bros. No, that, no I don't care. I don't care. I mean, I love Smash Bros. I like I yeah. like it too, but it, I I can't really stand being in in the community. I like, don't even have a switch, dude. Like, dude, KG, I I love comic books, but I can't stand the MCU fucking community anymore. Yeah. I, it's garbage. I, 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 I will say, learning about comic books is always amazing because it, it's like. I suddenly, I feel superior in reading mangas when I hear about the bad stuff that happens in comics. Um, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, um, like, which reminds me, they'll definitely talk about Avengers, Mar not Avengers, but um, Ultimate Alliance 3 some more. Maybe talk about their season pass stuff that we know that they have because Kirby Tech was doing it. Um, and huh? what. And Go ahead, sorry. in a sense, I am curious how they're going to structure their DLC. I'm not sure if it's their usual fear where it, their DLC practices are a load of bullshit or it's the more friendly and uh, more worthwhile uh, monetization that they do with the Nintendo Warriors stuff. Um, Question to you. Mm -hmm. uh, not related to the... Which I, I will talk about. Uh, have you ever solved the drifting issue on your Joy-Cons? I haven't had the drifting issue yet. Motherfucker! It's because I replaced it. I replaced them already because um, my left Joy-Con kept desyncing. Well, you, damn it! How did you replace yours? I bought a new one. <laughs> nah, f Jesus! I hate you. <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's something I can do again anytime soon, because the worst part about it is that like the cushion area seems yeah. slightly loose because I kept playing Smash Bros. Yeah. And so it's kind of weird, but it hasn't messed up any time since then. No, I mean uh, I play Splatoon two a lot, right? And I've lost matches where I I'm on rank mode and I'm on S plus. Mm -hmm. And I I lose the fucking first match on my S plus ranking because of my right Joy-Con dr drifting into places I don't want to drift to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's, it's fucking annoying. Mm -hmm. And I want I always wanted to find out a fix. And since you have a switch, I was hoping you probably had the answer. But get get like an air blower and some tweezers and then just lift the fucker up. Just yeah, that's what I did. That only works for like a few hours. Yeah, that's what I thought about those home remedy things. Yeah. So, and it, it kind of leads up to this, you know, like, hope. hopefully it's the hardware, or the, the upcoming rumored Switch models are hardware updates where, you know, they fix some of these malfunctions, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. Well, I don't know, but since we know it's not going to be at E3, I'm not really interested. Yeah. At the moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to nip that in the butt. Um, shit. Uh, so anyway, I told Icepex the other day where I'm not entirely sure if I'm actually looking forward to the Nintendo one, partly because I'm satisfied right now, to be honest. I mean, sure. I kind of want to say more about Astral Chain myself. I mean, I don't even have a Switch well, and I'm interested. Well, in yeah, that's, like, I, I mean, yeah, like, I want to see more of the things they, they already announced, but it's like, I'm not, it's just like, I don't, I strangely don't feel like predicting. I really think a lot of it, again, is more due to, like, 
what happened in regards to the Smash Bros and Nintendo rumor stuff, where we essentially lost leakers, really. Right. Because, you know, people kept getting overzealous and whatnot, and it, it wasn't originally, like, Nintendo fans, really. It was, like, you know, people in the know who were, like, who kept getting disregarded because they wanted to live their own fantasies. Like how, um, like, we had a sales age guy who, who actually had, who actually knew that Shadow of the Tomb Raider being exclusive to Microsoft actually hurt the franchise, and, but you still have waves of people going, that can't be true, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, you have this Smash Bros. thing, with the Grinch leak, which actually really soured everything in regards and and whatnot, and like I actually don't really get hype. I don't get involved with the hype trains with Nintendo Directs, not because of the content, but like I've grown weary of like the overzealous behavior and whatnot, and the fact that it caused a problem. Sorry, so random it's... interjection real quick. What? I was just rewatching the uh, Luminous Avenger X trailer again because I'm bored. Mm -hmm. I just realized something. The pre-order bonus, you know, the cosplay thing for the uh, the little girl who's like your uh, like your backup or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's actually less sexualized than her normal costume. She's covered up a lot more, so I'm I'm confused. Ooh, I'm sorry. What game are we talking about? Uh, the Gun Vault spinoff. Oh. Like, you know, the game that only I care about, basically? Yeah. Huh. I did not notice. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I remember people, like, ragging on me, being like, oh, oh I was just going to pre-order that because it's sexy. I'm like, I, I don't, I mean, I want to pre-order it, but I don't really want the sexy costume. I don't really care about sexy costumes. I don't care about the thing. sexy costume. I just want to play the fucking game on day one, like, and it's coming to like Steam the, on day one, like, and I fucking want it. Yeah, like, the thing for me is that, I, like, I just realized that, even if I spent money on it, and they charge, like, a premium for that shit. It's like, you know, I'll look at it, and it's like, oh, that's neat. And then I don't ever use it again. The no, worst I'm, like, part looking is at I... it, and it is legitimate. She's she's more covered up with the DLC. Co I'm confused. And it also doesn't help that it's, like, I see same body physique or whatever. Or, like, or in the case of Atlas, where it's like, hey, we got sexy costumes for our characters... And you put them on, and, it, and you find out that they have no butt. And it's like, what? I have to say, Inchi Creates like, is really into Patan... Patankos? Is that how you pronounce that? Patankos. Patankos, okay. I they are really into pronounced. that, though, I've noticed. It's weird. Or Patankos. I don't know how it's pronounced, but... They're into I, I like to say Patankos, basically. Uh, you say Patankos, I say Patankos. Yes. Anyway, um... <laughs> Anyway, uh, so, sorry to interrupt you. Go go on with what you were saying about how the Nintendo fan base is fucking abysmal. Well, like I get, I get the hype, I get getting hype, but at the same time, it's like, you know, I don't think there's critical thinking on in regards to how ex um, announcements happen. It's like, you know, they can only do things in Nintendo Directs, and, and Nintendo's like, no, the fuck, we can't. We can do this whenever we want. Yeah, we even like they did it. A, we even did a Twitter Direct for the Smash Bros. DLC. They, they did just, do that, and I still thought that was hilarious. It was. And, and it's just like, you know, just sit back, relax, um, stop ragging on leakers really because it just gets me into into this behavior where it's like hey here's these people who have at least 80 percent accuracy and on top of that have multiple things under their belts but you know let's find this random 4chan fucker on there because you know maybe it's possibly real or you know we look at the data mining for the smash bros website and we see the format and despite that, you go, well, you know, you never know. They might actually change it up and blah, blah, blah. Even though we have proof that that's not the case. And then they got back, they got BTFO'd on the Grinch League. Ah, uh, yes, the Grinch League. 
and it's not like they apologize. So we lost our leakers, really. I hated the Grinch leak. Yeah. Yeah, the Grinch leak I was hate... funny. It was I... funny at first, but then it went too far, and then yeah, yeah. Well, I guess like maybe every... I thought it was funny because I didn't actually. I, I saw him have a. Smile. You you weren't too invested. Yeah, exactly. Every... So I thought it which was is the nice thing. At least. I mean, every reaction video I saw of the reveal of a uh, Kennedy and Sin Roar, everybody was like. Grinchly, 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 and there were some asshats wore the, a Grinch hat, a Grinch sweater, mm -hmm. and, and it was just so fucking obnoxious, man. It just, and then the uh, piranha plant happened, and I got the greatest reaction video that I could ever want. That, that is true. You have used that quite a few times. It, it's amazing. Like, I almost <laughs> want to make it one of my laughs, but it, it, it feels so masterful to pull it off that I haven't tried. Plus, um... Given that I'm not doing this at like eight o'clock anymore, but rather eleven, uh, I don't think I'll get the opportunity to, to really exercise that. Right. But I love it. It's the greatest thing. I found you, you do the really, you video. Do really love that that reaction video. Yeah, they kind of need to do one for Mario Tennis though, <laughs> because like they did a data mine a while back where it was like, oh, Baby Mario and Gold Mario might come in, and then it turns out. They did their final update, and one of the characters is a fire piranha fire plant. Fire piranha plant, yeah, I saw <laughs> that. I'm like, shit. <laughs> it, it's a good thing hardly anyone cares about Mario Tennis, though. Otherwise, you know, it'd be the top of the century. And, and not to mention, they actually added P piranha earlier. Well, where is... Where is the best character in the Mario canon, Pink Gold Peach? Not in there, surprisingly. That's a bummer. I, I really like. I, I really enjoy her. I think they changed the CG in Mario Tennis, and so you see like Peach in a mini skirt and Daisy in, in short shorts, and I'm like, that's great. I like this. I can deal with this. I can stroke my cock to this. Does that? Yeah, that's what you touch. Exactly. <laughs> Speaking of, going back to yeah, um, cool. going back to. Uh, Going back to what? I know uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Okay. The, uh, yeah. It was, you do your thing. Talking about it. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I wanted to talk about it. I know that uh, Game Informer was, uh, had an a a in-depth coverage. Uh, mm -hmm. huh, in-depth in coverage of the, the game uh, last month, I think. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. And um, it looks to be pretty promising. Uh, don't know anything about the uh, any DLC that's probably coming, most likely to come mm -hmm. uh, later in later in this lifespan. I think the only thing that really surprises me about Marvel Ultimate Alliance Three is that, like, I remember people talking about Kamala Khan, like she was a like she and Miles Morales were like the big new characters at Marvel, mm -hmm. and Miles Morales would appear in a lot of things, right? But never right. Kamala Khan. I'm surprised that she wasn't in uh, Marvel Infinite. Yeah. And, and for some reason, oh, yeah. I, I get this feeling that Kamala is capable of doing so much more. But when it comes to, like, anything that implements her, it's, like, basic. I mean, Stretchy Powers is really, like, the main way that you'd be able to use her in a video game anyway, right? Well, yeah, much. but like you know, they got more out of Monkey D. Luffy. Well, Monkey D. Luffy is voiced by Krillin, so I don't know what you're expecting. Uh, I thought that was Usopp. No, that's no, that's Krillin. No, that's Monkey D. Luffy is Krillin. Yeah. Oh, well, Krillin does two voices. Dang, he's getting work. No wonder he he gets the boat Android if he did. I was going to say something about that, too. Like, he's, he's fucking under 18. Jesus Christ. Um, All right. You know what? No, no, no. I, speaking of boning Android 18, who... Oh, wait. Actually, I was about to say maybe a Dragon Ball Z Fighters DLC character to reveal to Nimbo since Microsoft leaked that part out. Yeah, I'm, I don't surprised know, remember that we, if... I'm surprised that we haven't seen anything on that after the leak. Yeah. Man, I, I am not... I'm not that excited for Janemba. I mean, I'm not excited at all for Janemba. I mean, I like the, he, I, I wanted the visual effects of Janemba. 
He might not have been my first pick, but I would have been fine with him. I guess if there was an issue, it's just the fact that the season passes only six characters. I'm more pissed off mm-hmm. that um, I'm actually more pissed off that GT Goku is in the game than anything. Yeah. Nothing, yeah, that's, else, uh, nothing else could make me angrier than that. That's actually a wink. That's the uh, that's a uh, that's a wink move. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, 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 I do want to see gameplay me, of uh, Gogeta and Broly. <laughs> to be honest with you, in regards to Goku, like I, I know people would have wanted the Dragon Ball version to be represented more than GT Goku, but either way, it kind of reminds me of people who wanted Paper Mario in Smash. I'm just like, why? Like, I don't care if there's a potential that they could show off his paper moves. They could still clone him. They could just make him like a faster Mario, but also a much more lightweight. Yeah. So it'd be Pichu Mario? Yeah. So I'm just like... Oh yeah, they nerfed Pichu. (laughs) That actually pissed me off. (laughs) Because I was like, I I heard he got murdered, and I was like, I wonder how, and then I used him in stamina mode, and I was like, wow. I, like, I didn't even read the notes, in it, and it told me everything I needed to know. And I was like, they just fucking murdered him. I don't know why, though. He wasn't really that good to begin with. He was, he was actually really good. He was amazing. <laughs> even I had so much fun playing him. But yeah, uh, he, wasn't, he wasn't my main, though. He wasn't. Yeah, yeah I liked using him. Like, mm-hmm. I, I sort of like the joke character aspect. Um, but in, the, in this scenario, he was actually awesome. And yeah, it's like, it's, and, it's surprising. And, and then it's like, oh, you know, we can't have that. It, like, then, I, like I generally don't hope. I generally hope they do not say, oh, we need to make sure Pichu's a joke character because, you know, Pikachu's supposed to be stronger. Because you know that's only going to make people more pissed off about the whole Samus thing, <laughs> it, where it's... they even they acknowledge how shitty her jab move is in the game. It's so weird, like... They're like, don't fucking use that thing. People can block in between them. It's crazy that, um... The returning melee characters are actually pretty good in this game, except now that Pichu got nerfed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I played uh, I played against a young Link online, and I got my ass kicked. Yeah, yeah, they, they're fucking annoying, and they're so, they're so viable. There's... Nobody, you, everybody who likes using projectiles and just zoning and whatnot, everybody goes to Young Link. I use Toon Link. I mean, Toon Link's good too, but Young Link. I know. Goes to Young I don't Link. give a shit. Everyone shut up. Toon Link. Shut up. Shut up. It's Young Link or Young Link or die. I know. Fuck that noise. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's surprising. Roy is good. <laughs> You know, uh, I, I, I enjoy it. Yeah. I'm, I'm enjoying this talk, but one of the things I've noticed is the fact that we have not predicted a single thing. Uh, <laughs> oh! I think it's back. only playing more into the fact that why I'm not too... Um, no, why I'm not too into the Nintendo no, fun, one this year. Fun fact, though, fun fact, is that the new Fire Emblem game is releasing on my birthday. Oh, that's sweet. Nice. Yeah, oh, that's I'm, nice. Yeah, I my sort sister's gonna buy it for me. Again, but... Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, do you mm, not a fan of it? Uh, but I know there was some major leak that happened, and it seems like it's coming true. And it actually what? Sounds very interesting. I don't feel like looking for it right now. Uh, bubble paraphrase. Uh, it was like a rumor thing. There was a whole. It was a whole bunch of details. I think there, like the story thing, was that uh, Edelgard the late the girl with the axe had like two branching pathways for her thing um and one of them actually showcased that she's the most ruthless of the three and i'm like you know that actually makes sense to me because she's the one who wields an axe oh axe yeah i thought you said the girl with the ass (laughs) i thought they all had that yeah I mean, that was weird that KG would just single out that girl only. The girl with the ass. <laughs> I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> look at that. Eh. 
the girl um, with the ass. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm like, you know what? I, I, I realize why I wasn't trying to predict. It was due to me ranting about the whole leak thing. Um, so, like, I just don't know how to actually approach it. Um, I guess, you know, they might, they'll, they'll definitely shadow drop some things, so. Hmm. Like, I, I think people are expecting that Cadence game to be shadow dropped, because when it appeared in the Indie World thing, it just said June of 2019. Even though it was going to be June the next day. Um, even, and like, the only thing that conflicts with that is, um, that whole looking into the website but you know it changed from may 30th to the 20th of june what's to say it can't change again oh even slay the spire the day the eShop page went up it initially set the fourth um but then it updated to the sixth so nintendo's fucking with your kg yeah oh well i, I can use my gift card at least for for one thing what's um that? Uh, slay the spire Oh, okay. All right. You actually reminded me of another thing. Tomorrow, well, actually, today, at this point, is the final day of the final 3DS game to come out. Persona Q2. That's exciting. I'll mess with 3DS. Yeah. I actually decided to buy it at the last minute, and it's just going to be here tomorrow. Mm. I mean, I get the feeling I probably won't put much time into it anyway, but... You know, I, I feel like I, I should just, it's something I should own regardless. Because I actually like the first one. I so. hate you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't really have anything to predict either. Uh, Nintendo can show off what they can, I mean... And I'll still be, you know, a little satisfied knowing yeah. that they're still moving on with stuff. Mm. I would be a little sad that if they they do announce uh, that uh, I mean well they won't announce but they'll say like uh, they'll stop to, uh, with the Splatfests and support for Splatoon. I mean we know because I love. I mean I mean they won't say it like explicitly. We're gonna stop uh, supporting Splatoon too. <laughs> or mm. uh, I mean that's not that's not right. a thing. But uh, right. I'm just saying I, I hope they. <laughs> they go out with a bang. <laughs> I, I'll be I'll be sad, but I hope they go out with a bang. I hope they go they announce some new IP or at least Splatoon three. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. It's Splatoon, it's Splatoon three, three already. Weird. It, seems, it seems a little too quick, honestly. I mean, that's what I said about Smash Brothers, but yeah. Okay, val valid point. I mean, I guess, <laughs> yeah. I guess what I'm thinking is that like Splatoon. Two and Splatoon three would be on the same platform, though. Yeah, I'm trying to. Think I don't know if they're gonna. Things. You know what? Um, I'm, I'm trying to think. Now that I think about it, we're probably gonna get more information about Animal Crossing and Luigi's Mansion three. I just oh yeah, about Luigi's that. Mansion three. That, that that would probably pop up. That that mm. that was a thing. Um, um. I'm thinking, and maybe more about Link's Awakening. Um. Oh yeah, Link's Awakening. Why didn't they forget about that game? What the fuck? Oh well, I, I know I'm gonna get. And. I don't understand the hate for it, but uh. Mm -hmm. uh I don't know. Yeah, me neither. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out something new that they would ex announce. Like, the only thing I recall that keeps popping up is, like, that, like, one of the games being a Pikmin 3 port, and, um... You should just that package whole... the entire original trilogy together, honestly. Yeah, and speaking of trilogy, also that Metro Prime trilogy thing. Well, yeah, that's... That supposedly that is going ready, quote-unquote, but they're just waiting for a win, and considering Metro Prime... Four got delayed because apparently it was a shit show mm. before Retro decided to take over. Like, who knows if they're just going to hold that back some more? But you know, at the same time, you know the work's already done. If it exists, just release it. Right. 
Um, uh, I hope I, they port. I hope they port the Galaxy games, but I don't know. I hope they port 3D World. It deserves it. Oh yes, yeah, 3D World. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. also believe like Tokyo Mirage Sessions need another chance. So, like I'm already. I was yeah, already Tokyo there. Mirage Sessions definitely deserves it, especially after they screwed the pooch with the censorship there. That was weird. And, and as well as the fan base is screwing you know, the pooch on good games. Like here's this actually awesome game that's probably even better than Persona 5 and it's like, uh, it's not what I expected. It's not like the most Man, it's a good thing Jari's ever. not here. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I want to give it happen. another shot and honestly I'm still struggling with working up the muster to um, re-hook up my Wii U since I would have to get everything recharged and everything. Right. And on top of that I'm still holding out on some nonsensical hope that they will port it. But, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I know it's past one, one o'clock in the morning. So, oh, should God. we, uh, should we just try to wrap wrap this up then? Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you want to do predictions and wish list down there? Um, prediction... Prediction, prediction, prediction. I'll actually uh, refrain from predicting anything Smash Bros. or Pokemon related. Okay. Um, outside of the whole Erdrick thing, it's the only thing I really expect, really. Um, I guess I like... I, I genuinely do hope that they do a teaser for the third character. Because I know we, we got Piranha Plant as the first reveal, and then they, like, a few days later, they're like, oh, by the way, actually a month later, they're like, oh, here's a, here's a peek at our season pass, it's Joker, and then it's been since April since we've heard of anything. We know that they were working on a different character at the same time as Joker, so that's why I'm like, they'll shadow drop one and announce another one. Right. For a later date. Right. Um, that having been said, I wonder. I wonder if I should have faith in that Pikmin Three Wii U port. Um, I, I still hope for Tokyo Mirage Session to appear at some point. Um, I don't know why I can't predict anything for Nintendo. I usually do. It's because, I, um... I just can't think of anything. Hmm. 4KG. I'm not gonna blame it on the fact that it's 1pm. Like, I, I don't think I could come up with anything... Um, before. I don't... Like, I don't know. I don't know. I just think the whole week thing kind of killed my enthusiasm on that point. Maybe next year. Um, when, Maybe next year. When... Yeah, okay, so you killed his enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, like, how about you? No, I already said what I wanted to say. I mean, I mean, I mean, regarding the um, predictions and wish list. I mean, Splatoon three. Um, that's both a prediction and. No, well, that's not a prediction. That's a wish. Um, I hope Marvel World's Home Alliance. We get more info on Alliance and Fire Emblem, but that's, I think, given the info where we have, I think it's like we're just pushing it at that point. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, Smash there's going to be a, I predict another Smash character is going to be teased or introduced. Which I really don't give a fuck about anymore because... <laughs> See, I, what gets me about the the Nintendo quote-unquote community is that... They, they, every fucking reaction I see, reaction video I see on, on YouTube regarding Nintendo Direct, everybody's just fucking stroking their cocks for Smash Brothers and that's all they care about. They'll say they'll say that's pretty cool to other stuff, 
but in in actuality, they're just they're excited for Smash Brothers, and I feel like that that narrows their their interests. Their yeah, it never it's they're they're not they're boring. They're yeah. boring. It, like it, it, it's it's one thing for me, like say if I watched a video from Zero. Um, mm. Because you know he plays Smash Bros. Of course yeah. he does. Like, am I going to expect him to do much different? Probably not. I mean, I'm not subscribed to him, but I do see his videos pop up into my uh, YouTube feed every now and again because I do watch like one or two every now and again. Um, but like, and, and like, what was his name? Gaijin Hunter. He's someone I follow for Monster Hunter and stuff, but he does do it other things occasionally, but... Like, if I'm not following you, it, or something, or I did, and then you narrow down, that's a bit of a problem for me. Um, like, I, I also, like, going back to people believing 4chan rumors, I don't like the proliferation where you have these people who come up with rumors, um... And it's like, you can, if you get even one thing right, that's enough to give you credibility in someone's eyes. And like, even if it's something that's blatantly obvious, it, like, the whole gaming intel website keeps popping up, even though they keep getting shit wrong. And it, it just annoys me. Right. You know, and, mm. and it's it's why I actually get more annoyed when Dark keeps posting leaks because I'm like, dude, you should get outside more and see people <laughs> <laughs> have been predicting this shit for quite a while. It's why, like, yeah, I'm sorry I've been more of a sour puss on that stuff recently, but I can't help it. No, nah, well, it's it I became a you. major pet peeve. I mean, going back to that zero thing. I mean, I get he's he's a smasher, mm-hmm. <laughs> smasher. He's a uh, Smash Brothers uh, YouTube guy. I mean, well, he's you know uh, the best Smash Four player in the world, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, the thing is, though, is that I see other Nintendo, apparently Nintendo fans on YouTube, you know, just like going you know bonkers for Nintendo Direct, but all these just they just don't want to admit that it's all just. They just want to see a Smash Brothers shit. And, and, and you know, it wouldn't be all bother me so much if it, you know, if they weren't just fucking pretending to be interested in the other stuff. Because mm-hmm. there's other stuff. But yeah. they're just like, oh, it, those are just placeholders until it, 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 the real it, event it, for the real event. And I'm like, like how Arlo keeps going on about Pikmin 4 or something. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and I mean, okay, you're interested in one game, we get it. But the fact is, though, I mean, the majority of them are Smash play, are Smash Brothers fans. I, I, I mean, I, I, other people, I, they probably be interested in, like, Pikmin 4, Metroid Prime 4, or whatever, but those are few and far between. You know, I get the feeling that's probably why the, the root cause of me not quite knowing what to predict from a Nintendo, uh, from Nintendo this year. I don't know. Like, I don't think my purchasing habits will change. That much is true. I think it's just the narrow interest. Like, even, like, threads about the Switch not having games tend to annoy me. Um, it's like, you know, we, there's more third-party support now versus the Wii U. There's worthwhile games coming out. Um, and I know one of the sentiments against PS4 a while back was going, was going, hey, you know, there's still indie games even if there's no AAA games, but uh, the first somehow doesn't get applied here for Switch, really. But it's like, you know, first of all, you knew what you were getting into in a way. Um, it, it was going to be a backup system for many people, and in fact, most of the people who own a Switch also have a backup, um, well, not a backup, but another console, 
Like, I have a PlayStation 4. So, that's not surprising, right? Um, but it's like, you know, you can just buy some other things on there. There's games that come out that are that are interesting. They don't they're not less interesting just because another system has it. And whatnot. Um I buy more games than I than I could probably actually play really. Um I would say it's practically my new Steam machine. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean yeah. uh yeah, that, that's how bad my uh, habits have been on there. Um, <coughs> but I guess it's, you know, it's mainly because it's, it's a desirable product. And PS4, not quite as much as it used to be. Yeah. Um, I, going back to that narrow thing, I mean... I don't know, even when it's shown to their faces, man. I even Okay. Smash Brothers is basically compi- comprised of characters from their own game, from the, from games, from other games, from other games. You know, like they, even when it's shown, whether it's shown on Nintendo Direct, or whether it's like they, they're, they're oblivious to the fact that they're that uh, those characters are uh, are from other games, not just Smash Brothers. It's still, it's still, they refuse to ex- expand their horizons and. You know, they're just, what, and when a new console come, new com- Nintendo console uh, or Nintendo Direct uh, are announced, they just assume they just they just assume that the Smash Brothers not assume they expect no no not expect they just <laughs> play Smash Brothers as the be all end all. You know, they they don't. They're, they're not anticipating, or even, uh, you know, they they don't care. I won't either, say don't that care it's definitely a game you. that I like, but it's impact by the community. Whereas Pokemon is more of a two-way street for me, on how much it's it, it's hurting me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's worse because I actually <laughs> started nostalgia-ing over last generation that I keep shitting on. But only because it brought me to the point before I felt fine with shitting on it because it was before it was like it was when possibilities seemed endless kind of thing. Um, the fun we had with other people with because of its feature set. Lack of post game wasn't bad at first, um, but it was only when the next set came out and that was the end of Gen Six where. It, it basically became negative, that kind of thing. But I don't know. I, I'm actually generally negative for Pokemon. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. that's why I'm not really interested in talking about it. I'd rather see what they have mm. and just leave it at that. I don't even feel like predicting. I don't well, feel I like. Mean, I don't, I, I don't I mean, feel like getting into a certain discussion with a fan base that doesn't know how to go beyond the circle. Especially Smash Bros. Like, just sure. walk in a thread one day. Sure, I'm just ranting. Walking into a thread the other day, and, it's, and it feels like nothing happened. Sure, I, I get it. I'm just ranting, man. I'm just... I know. I'm saying... I, I know we're using this to real, mainly shit on the Nintendo fan base. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. it makes me happy that uh, this is our setup of people, really. Yeah, um, I'm not looking know, forward to the next batch, believe me. Yeah, like, I know, I know we kind of, we're like the side that's more likely to do that kind of thing, but um, and usually it was more focused on the system, per se, like the Wii U, and the shortcomings at the very least. But now it's just like, have a problem with the fan base, even though I don't really have a problem with the console. No, I mean, no, no, me neither. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Yeah. Um, just, I don't All know. Right. It's just, it bothers me that that this last bit, it's just, I've seen reaction videos where there's no Smash and Brothers news, and they react with extreme disappointment. They just skip yeah. the entire direct. They yeah. just dismiss honest, the direct. I just literally ignore 
I ignore people like that. I'm gonna be yeah. real with you. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I just feel like this became more narrow in discussion with a lot of my groups already, and like I actually feel like I've been less invested into them in general. Nah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like, I, like, honestly, even the ironic uh, uh, shit posts about perfect on Switch when I know they're being sarcastic actually kind of annoys me at this point. <laughs> like, really, like, it's like the weird like part that. is that like, I'm not annoyed by Ice Pick doing it because I think it's just the only one and he doesn't do it all the time. But it's like almost every single day with them. It's like, you know, it, it just got old. Like, like it's too much of something. And it, I don't know. Like, I, I actually get tired. I, like, I'm, I just feel tired of communities in general. Yeah. Well, that was a downer. <laughs> no, I, yeah, no, I ended, yeah, sad. I mean, uh, I took it, me and KD took it to that one place where just... I, I don't know, I just kind of felt like it was something I needed to admit. In all fairness, I didn't really now. have much to say about Nintendo anyway. I'm kind of, uh, oh, what's the word? I mean, neutral, okay. isn't Look, neutral isn't really right, but like... Lukewarm? I, I don't have anything to ask. I don't even have the Switch, so, like... Yeah. The only thing I'd really want out of a uh, E3 from Nintendo would basically be for them to say, Hey, guess what, Switch fans? Fuck you! Turns out the 3DS isn't dead after all. Fuck all of you. You're fucked. In, it's still in going. Infamous Jeff. Huh. 3DS, I mean, 100 years forever. 3DS. I also wanted to get the... I wanted to get the... Similar flames off my chest, like I mean, towards Nintendo fans, like. No. Yeah. Um, I mean, but I also, uh, right today, I was kind of annoyed with MCU fans, and I and I have the same feelings towards them as I do with Nintendo uh, Smash Brothers fans. And, you know, I just wanted to like express myself a little bit. I get it, man. Smash. You want to vent? I vented earlier. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. We all had our venting session. Yeah, mine, yeah. Was just, mine just lasted like five minutes until I, you know, got all the anger out of my system. <laughs> well, yeah, I, mean, I think it's because you've repeatedly let it out of your system several times. This is this, this is, is, a is good the point. first time. That this is just the first time really I've been able to vocalize it. it. Yes. I mean, right. yeah. we're, we're winding down. We're That's winding right. down, and you had a lot of energy. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Plus, it's one thirty. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's another. Thing. All so, right. So I think we should just. Yeah, I'll Probably save yeah. I'll save my real Nintendo predictions for the the disc one cast because oh, yeah, your real Nintendo predictions. Yeah. yeah, the real <laughs> the, yeah the the real the really exhausting Nintendo podcast. Yeah, mm -hmm. wink, I was able wink. to yeah I was able to do this one tonight because uh, the baby daddy's working tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you know I know that my sister and mom are up because they they have to go get them. Wow. Um, once he gets off work, so it's easier for me to do this right now. Oh no, I just figured that, like, I realized that we weren't going to do anything tonight anyway, and I figure tomorrow night I, I want to actually do that roll, so... Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather not have to, like, have this hanging over my... I mean, I don't mean mm -hmm. hanging over my head, but I mean, like, I don't think I would have time to do the roll and record the podcast in the same night, basically. Yeah. yeah, plus I do want to watch that Pokemon Direct regardless. That's true. And so if this would have gotten in the way of that on Wednesday, which I found out today, even though I thought it was Tuesday. So um, it's at like 7.30 a.m. our time? I forgot. Actually, I think it's I know that in the morning. I, I know that Shell is planning on doing a, a, a stream, a Jesus. live stream for it, which... It's oh. solid. <laughs> That's nice. going to be something. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not um, saying that to like insult him. I'm just saying that like, <clears throat> who would be watching that? Like, KG. I feel like the only people in his area that would be up for that would probably be at work or going to work or in the process of going to work, mm -hmm. and therefore not in a good. 
situation where they could be watching him stream about it. You talking about the Pokemon stream? Or I'm talking, talking about the Pokemon. Yes, yeah, Shell Shell's planning on doing a uh, a reactions. A, a live reactions to the Pokemon stream. When is that? Uh, what time is it during? Uh, it, uh, when is it going to be during hit time? I think it's. Uh, I think he said it was going to be. O'clock. I thought it said eight thirty. No, um, it, it's happening at six Pacific in okay, the morning. So yeah, that would so be because it was Wednesday. six. It was six p.m. last Wednesday. Okay, uh, so for Japan time. So night nine a.m. Yeah. That being said, it's supposedly 15 minutes long, which I believe is the longest dedicated direct for a Pokemon game. That's because the Pokemon, there isn't that much to talk about with the Pokemon games. Right. And, and, which made me worry that they were going to waste time because they makes... actually did that with Sun and Moon where it's like, oh, let's do a retrospective of, of a series that you already know about. Hey, and wow, then... look at this. New Alolan-type Pokemons. Let's let's go into heavy detail about what the old ones looked like and how the new ones differ from the old ones. Fuck, who yeah. cares? Let's yeah. see the graphic comparison between Red and Blue and uh, Night and Shield. Here's Red and Green dam. compared to Red and Blue. Let's look at every single solitary Pokemon sprite, front and back, from both games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, yeah. what day is the Pokemon? Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Tomorrow? I mean, uh, yeah, Actually, tomorrow. it's tomorrow. Well, it would be tomorrow right. from our perspective. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> yes, but yeah, Wednesday. Nobody's going to be watching that. No offense to Shell, but I'm pretty sure everybody's going to be at work. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand why he's going out of his way to do a... A live stream reactions. It doesn't make sense to me. It, I'm not trying sorry, to insult him. Sorry, I, I I wanted to clarify. I didn't know. No, no, what no, no, no. I'm cl for. I'm I'm clarifying that I agree with you on this on this stance. I don't understand his end game there because. I mean, even if he did one for Nintendo Direct, it still doesn't make any. I you know. I mean, not no offense to show, but still, it, nobody's going to be watching that. Yeah, it's not that no one's going to be watching it because no one would want to watch it. Yeah, it's, no, I mean... No one can no. physically watch it. it yeah, it's I mean, impossible. Unless, no one is going to be watching the, that. Yeah, unless you're like a college student and <laughs> yeah. uh, after the semester's over, then no, and nobody's... Well, why would you be awake at that time, though? That's the thing. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. It's like everyone is either going to be asleep or going to work while this is happening. I don't understand why he's making a big deal about doing a stream about it, but he is making a big deal about doing a stream for it. Shit, I'm going to be... I'll be watching it, but I, honestly, I'm going to be on my way to work at that, at that time. Right. Not the stream. I'm not going to be watching the stream. His stream. I'm going to be watching the direct. Right. And but. I'm just going to be asleep during it because I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I'll wake up, and then I'll see people going like, Eh, well, there are five new Pokemon that they announced. Look at this new fucking bug fairy type thing. They never did that before. I, I don't fucking know. Did they do that before? I feel like they had to have done a fairy bug type. Is there a fairy fire type? <coughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know. I'm trying to remember if bug fairy was done before. Because there's been... only really two generations where they could have done it. I mean... It's it was only uh, several years ago that they they did the first fire psychic. I only remember Rabombi. Anyways, um, it was pretty cool. Let's let, let's wind this down. We're get we're we're, <laughs> yeah. we're past one thirty now. So. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just saying. Like you know what's gonna happen? I'm just gonna watch the direct on in my car on my way to work, and after that after the direct's Why are you over. Driving? Yeah, I, I, no, well, I, I'm problems. driving to work. I think what he means is that he's going to have it on uh, on his phone, and he'll probably be listening to it while he's actually driving and looking at it when he's at like a stop light or something, or stuck in traffic. No, this, right? Yeah, Don't get stuck hit. in traffic, Don't, most likely. Don't hit someone. Stuck in traffic, most likely. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm gonna it's be a good a thing I don't have to drive to work. <laughs> well, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Yeah, as I recall, since uh, KG says he works at home, I believe that means that he has a uh, control console in his backyard 
and his mom walks up to him and hands him lemonade. And then his next born his next door neighbor comes home from work and, yeah. and his hat got ran over in the shit. I'm actually I'm using the material on the wrong chat. This was actually meant for the disc one chat because KI would have seen that Simpsons reference coming a million miles away. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what's gonna happen is, I get to work and I'm not gonna talk about it until later with you guys. Right. And that's it. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's all there is to it. Um. Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, well, let's call it then. I'd say. I, I think we're done. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna make myself a sandwich. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll be back again next week to yeah. see what happened at E3. Werewolves. Yep. So this has been the uh, Side B Podcast. Signing off. Number what? Yep. Time to go to bed and get ready for work. Yep. Yep. I'll see you guys uh, next time, I guess. Yep. yep. Peace, jabronis. Peace. Shut up. <laughs> oh, hey, look at that. Shinji Mikami is going to be at a... Uh... Oh, podcast is over. Whoopsie doodle. <laughs> <laughs>